Okay, in this one hour webinar, I will do my very best with you the recent release RC BM resolution number 20, series of 2021, authorizing the conduct of online examination of mechanical engineers to professional mechanics or PME and providing guidelines thereof. Also aligned to this to the discussion is the PRC resolution number 12, series of 2019, a new table of specification or the TUS for technical upgrading to PME, the guidelines for PM examination before the pandemic. We all understand that because of this COVID pandemic, many things have changed in our lives, including the negative aspects. Here to adjust and adapt to what we call the new normal. And hopefully, Uh, I think no, yung signal, sir. Um, go ahead, sir. Kamiyot siya. Baka na may problem lang. Uh, well, waiting siguro. Um, we like everyone dun sa ako natin. Meron tayong, meron tayong mga events while waiting kasi nag- Pumapasok pa si Sir. Um, meron tayo... Nakat ba yung line kanina? Nakat ba ako? Nag-umi na atin? Nakat okay. ka, Sir. Okay. So, again... Uh, Alright. Uh, uh, nakat ba nda? First slide. Nap First slide pa lang, Sir. True. Alright. So, again, uh, ulitin ko to to the benefits ni Ma'am Cleo na birthday, <laughs> nag-birthday <laughs> All right. And a happy, happy birthday po, Madam President, and of course to the officers and board of trustees of PNL and to the organizer of this pre webinar and to all our sisters and mechanical engineers here abroad. And to everyone, a good all of you. And again, once uh, again, it's a great pride and, uh, and honor to be your source speaker on guidelines on how to become professional mechanical engineer or the PNL. I think this is my third time delivering this and our bias. Pastor Nards, wala ang nakikitang slide mo. Ganun ba? Uh, right, let me share. Baka naputol kanina. Yes. Sorry. No problem. Okay na po ba, Ma'am Cleo? Nakikita na po ba? Yes, okay, okay, okay na, sir. Okay na po, sir. Okay na po, sir. All right. Again, it's my honor and uh, and privilege to be your resource speaker for this uh, topic. And uh, I think this is already my third time delivering this uh, topic. Unang una yung I think na invite pareho sa UAE. And uh, uh, again, uh, I'm really excited. Na pangatlo tayo the 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 excitement in my heart uh, as if this is my first time delivering this uh, this topic. All right, in this one hour webinar, I will be uh, discussing to my very best with you the recently released the, the PRC and BM resolution number 20, series of 2021, authorizing the conduct of online oral examination of mechanical engineers to professional mechanical engineers of the PME and providing guidance to all. Also aligned to the discussion is the PRC BME resolution number 12, series of 2019, the new table of specification or the TUS for technique to PME. This is the guidelines for PME examination before the pandemic. We all understand 
not because of this pandemic or the COVID-19 uh, health crisis. Many things have changed in our lives, including positive and negative aspects. Hence, we really need to adjust and adapt to what we call the new normal. And hopefully, magkaroon na tayo ng herd immunity at matapos na din itong digmaan between Russia and Ukraine sa lalong mandaling panahon because everybody, everything na lang ay nagtataasan except sa katulad ko. I think everyone is aware that uh, uh, this coming June 7, another oil price increase is expected. And uh, dito sa amin sa Ligaspi, we, I'm, 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 I'm looking na mag-aabot sa 100 pesos per liter ang price ng oil. Napakabigat. All right. I know everyone excited to know exactly uh, directly from our BMEs all about the process and guidelines on how to apply for senior grade mechanical engineer or PME with the present health crisis or pandemic. Therefore, Art, meantime, please answer your questions because we have our three BMS here to help me answer all your questions after my presentation on the PME forum. Okay, uh, I will not read this one because uh, kanina na introduced na ako ni Sir Vic and uh, to, to, for the interest of time, I will not read this anymore, my introduction. And uh, the seminar objective or the webinar objective at, is at the end of this presentation, attendees will understand the law that will burn the practice of mechanical engineering. Second, understand the role and responsibilities of a mechanical engineer or the PME. The third one, identify the requirement for PME application. And the fourth, be aware of the, the TOS or the table of specification for technical upgrading to PME by set, set by PRC BME resolution number 12, series of 2019, or the pre-pandemic uh, guidelines on how we're going to pass the PME exam examination. And uh, last, uh, second on the last, be able to understand the online oral PM examination process based on the guidelines of the PRC BME resolution number 20, series of 2021. And the last, but not the least, have a full understanding of the PME application process. I think we are now 55 in this meeting room, and uh, I hope um, marami dito ang uh, nakikita ko, familiar faces, and uh, Hope so, uh, dami natin ito, maraming, maraming magiging PME o magiging applicants later on. All right. Mechanical engineering is the root cause of technology. And mechanical engineering was born when man invented the wheel. In our need for, for things, mechanical is still growing along with the career opportunities for the graded mechanical engineers. Allow me to start my presentation on the short background of our very own mechanical engineering law, Republic Act 8495. The act shall be known as the Philippine Mechanical Engineering Act of 1998, which is the act regulating the practice of mechanical engineering in the Philippines. Take note, in the Philippines. A short background of our law, Emilio was enacted in 1998 during the 10th Congress in the third regular session of the, Philipp of the Congress of the Philippines and signed into law by the president, by President Fidel Ramos on February 12, 1998 and was known as the Philippine Mechanical Engineering Act of 1998. Engineers at the back are the, the witnesses of the signing of this uh, law. Uh, February 12, 1998. So, and dami dyan. I think uh, uh, I don't have any the colored photo, but uh, I think si uh, Sir Rene, uh, si Sir uh, uh, Rene Cases, mayroon siya nito kasi naandyan sa dyan. I don't know, si Ma'am Cleo, kung naandyan po si Ma'am Cleo nung time na yan, ng signing ng uh, ating Republic Act 8495. All right. Advantages and benefits and silent points of our very own Republic Act 8495. The first one is new opportunities for the advancement of mechanical engineering professions. Second, upgrading of mechanical engineering profession to cope up with the rule and nation building. Third, 
revision of mechanical engineering curriculum to become more responsive to change of technology for the P, for the BSME graduates. Then the next, widen the scope of mechanical engineering practice with the inclusion of academic renewable source of energy, mobile mechanical driven equipment. Institute the development of continuous professional development program by the Board of Mechanical Engineering in collaboration with a PRC BME accredited integrated professional organization, which is PSIM, malapit na, to ensure attainment of professional excellence. All right, let's discuss the practice of mechanical engineering. Take note, magkaiba yung practice of profession at practice of mechanical engineering. Later on, we'll discuss what are the practice of profession. Now, what is the practice of mechanical engineering? Republic Act 8495, Article 1, says that a person shall be deemed to be practicing mechanical engineering or rendering mechanical engineering services within the meaning and intent of this act when he performs the following. This is not new because uh, I, I myself tinuro ko to sa college when I uh, nagtuturo ko sa Bicol University, it is mechanical engineering law. So I hope hindi ito bago sa mga nandito na mechanical engineers. Uh, we'll just do a, a short review on the, on the Republic of 8495. So number one, consultation, valuation, investigation, and so on and so forth. Second, engineering design, preparation of plans, specification, and project studies, mechanical engineering equipment, machinery, process of any mechanical works and project plans. The third one, management of supervision, erection, installation, erection, testing, commissioning of mechanical equipment, and so on and so forth. Port management, supervision, operation, tending, or maintenance of any mechanical equipment, machinery, process, and mechanically works, projects, or plan. The fifth one, management or supervision of manufacture, sales, so mga nasa sales, supply or distribution, mechanical engineering equipment or parts. So yung mga nasa sales, this is, another, this is also a practice of mechanical engineering. And of course, teaching of mechanical engineering professional subject in government recognized and accredited engineering school. My counting click dyan sa teaching, my professional mechanical engineer ka. So. And the seven, the last one, employment and government as professional mechanical engineer or a registered mechanical engineer or a certified plant mechanic in the nature and character of his work in line with the profession requirement, professional knowledge of science of mechanical engineering. All right. Sabi ko nina, practice of mechanical engineering is different than practice of profession. Okay. Let's discuss what is the practice of profession according to our Mechanical Engineering Law 8495. Article 4, under prohibition, under prohibition that it shall be unlawful, take note, unlawful to any person unless authorized under this act. Number one, to be in to be a responsible charge of the, of the preparation of plan, investigation, valuation, technical report, specification, project studies or estimate, or to be in performance of other professional mechanical engineering activities unless he is duly licensed professional mechanical engineer. Ibig sabihin niyan yung hindi mga professional mechanical engineer hindi na pwedeng gumawa ng design, hindi ka pwedeng mag-conduct ng investigation or gumawa ng technical report. The answer is no. You can do design, you can do technical report, mechanical specification, and so on and so forth. Design, everything. Kahit na ikaw ay mechanical engineer pa lang hindi ka pa professional mechanical but may but nga dyan dun sa mong pipiramahan yung, yung ginawang design because that is a violation and prohibition under Article 4 of Republic Act 8495 and another thing that is one ground of possible revocation of your license in case mapatunayan na ikaw gumagawa ng design at pinipiramahan mo yung design na hindi ka professional mechanical engineer. Right? 
So take note po dyan, sa mga mechanical engineers pa lang, hindi pa professional mechanical engineer, hindi sinasabi you cannot do design, you cannot do any technical report, project studies, estimate, and so on and so forth. But huwag mong pipirmahan. Papirmahan mo yan sa professional mechanical engineer. Okay? Second, on the practice of profession, again, to teach professional subject and mechanical engineering courses unless he is a duly licensed professional mechanical engineer or master degree or doctorate degree holder and mechanical engineering. Eh, mayroon, lang po na, mayroon naman akong master degree in business administration. I, uh, I am allowed to teach mechanical engineering subject? The answer is no. Dapat master degree or doctorate degree in mechanical engineering or a professional mechanical engineer is the only allowed person to teach professional subject and mechanical engineering course. The third one, to be responsible charge of the construction, erection, installation, and so on and so forth, unless he is a duly registered professional mechanical engineer or a mechanical engineer. So that is actually the practice of our profession. So magkaiba yung practice of engineering on the practice or profession. All right, let's discuss the table of professional practice. So this table actually summarizes the delineation of professional practice for scope of work, including capacity. So scope of work, capacity, in the professional in charge to operate, to support, to operate, tend, or maintain, or be in charge of the operation, tending, or maintenance of any mechanical works, project of plant with a capacity of 100 kilowatts to 300 kilowatts. And according to our Republic Act 8495, a certified mechanic is allowed to handle that capacity. Since our certified plant mechanic is allowed to handle that mechanical that capacity, the more of our mechanical engineer and also our professional mechanical engineer. On the capacity above 300 kilowatts to 2 megawatts or 2,000 kilowatts, a certified plant mechanic is no longer allowed to tend and operate that machine or equipment. Only the mechanical engineer and the professional mechanical engineer under Republic Act 8495 is allowed to operate, maintain, and maintain that equipment or facilities. And above 2,000 kilowatts or 2 megawatts, the only allowed professional to operate and maintain that equipment or plant is the professional mechanical engineer. So that summarizes the different uh, profession uh, and with the corresponding uh, capacity. So tandaan po natin, I think hindi ito bago to all of us, mechanical engineers, but just a pressure, yung 100 kilowatts or 300 kilowatts on this, a certified plant mechanic is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is uh, allowed or uh, can handle that uh, 300 kilowatts or 2 megawatts, mechanical engineer and professional mechanical engineer. And, uh, and above 2,000 kilowatts or 2 megawatts, only professional mechanical engineer is allowed to operate and tend and maintain that equipment or facility. All right. Let's discuss the qualification for any person who wants to apply for a senior grade mechanical engineer or a professional mechanical engineer. Under section 14 of Republic Act 8495, any person to be a professional mechanical engineer, engineering, any, any applicant, sorry, any applicant, professional mechanical engineering examination must, at the time of filing of his application, establish to the, to the satisfaction of the board that he is a citizen of the Philippines. Ibig sabihin, natural-born natural Filipino citizen ka. Second, 
must not have been convicted by a court of law of a involving moral turpitude. We'll not discuss that uh, more because of time constraint. So, tingnan mo na lang, baka you as an applicant or aspirant for uh, senior grade mechanical engineering uh, examination, check mo na lang kung meron kang uh, uh, legal cases or anything na mayroon kang posibleng maging dahilan para ikaw ay ma-disqualified kang an applicant. The third one, he has a valid certificate of registration and he is a registered mechanical engineer and a holder of valid professional license. Take note ha, valid certificate of registration meaning sabihin hindi expired ang yung PRC license. Hindi pwede yung meron kang license nga as mechanical engineer but hindi mo naman rinirenew and you are practicing mechanical engineer with an expired license. All right. Another one, he has graduated. Of course, hindi ka magiging engineer kung hindi ka magtatapos sa any colleges or universities recognized by as a mechanical engineering. And uh, of course, ito yung pinaka-importante. He has a specific record of total of four years of more of active mechanical engineering practice recall from the time he registered as mechanical engineering, as mechanical engineer. So take note, ha? recall from the date you register as mechanical engineer. Uh, I have some polls uh, uh, parang uh, situation, but uh, I have just given a uh, one hour to discuss this, but uh, hindi ko na ano yan, because may, may meron yan, merong mana dyan. Pumasa ka sa board, lumipad ka papuntang uh, Middle East, and then hindi ka naman nag-registered sa PRC, and you go back after uh, four years, and you apply for PME, and sabihin mo, I have a uh, number of years to become qualified as mechanical engineers. You are not qualified because hindi ka naman nag-registered upon passing the board examination. So take note, recon from the date na ikaw ay nag-registered as mechanical engineer sa PRC. So kung ikaw ay passer sa board examination, make sure na ikaw ay nag-registered sa PRC at mayroon kang valid PRC license. All right? Last, he is competent to practice as attested by at least two professional mechanical engineers. So at least dalawa ang uh, na professional mechanical engineer ang mag-testify uh, sa iyo that you are really qualified to become an applicant for senior grade mechanical engineer or professional mechanical engineer. All right. PME examination process. Ito yung process ng ating PME examination. We will understand that this is a uh, testimonial in nature and we have two stages for that examination. The first one is your oral interview. The first interview. No, na hindi pa nagkaroon ng pandemic, everything is face to face. So mamaya, i-discuss natin yung resolution number 20, o paano nga yung gagawin yung examination for PME applicants with this present pandemic or health crisis. But before on, let's discuss ano yung stages of the PMA application or PMA examination process. Of course, yung first interview, yung pinaka-importante sa lahat because everything sa, sa first interview, you should be ready enough na kaya mong sagutin yung mga questions ng ating Board of Mechanical Engineers. Your experience as an, as an engineer, of course, yung basic mechanical engineering for principles. So anything about basic mechanical engineering principles, probably paghandaan mo na yan. So nung ako ay nag-take ng PM examination, nakala ko I know everything. Marami pa palang hindi ko na alam-alaman na posibleng itanong sa'yo ng uh, Board of Mechanical Engineering. So make sure that you review your uh, engineering uh, uh, 
subjects na pwedeng uh, pag-aralan mo, yung mga standards. So, na pwedeng itanong sa'yo na hindi mo naman uh, ginagamit na yun, in your routine uh, works in, uh, in any plant or uh, pag-aralan mo ulit yung inyong engineering uh, subjects in your college. And of course, yung uh, yung, yung proposed title na uh, gusto mo maging iyong technical engineering report, you should be ready for that, including the abstract of your proposed technical engineering report. Once you pass the first interview, then we, the, the, the BM will give you 60 days to prepare your engineering report. After that 60 days, submit mo siya, and of course, uh, yung uh, secretariat ng Board of Mechanical, you will schedule you for second interview. In the second interview, which is the final interview, the discussion will be more, will be more on your engineering report. Yung introduction mo, yung engineering report mo, yung engineering calculation mo, lahat, everything, economy, it should have a conclusion and recommendation on your engineering report. So, once you pass the two stages of uh, examination, then mag-celebrate ka na because you will be a professional mechanical engineer or senior grade mechanical engineer. All right. Again, sabi ko nga, uh, we'll uh, make this uh, discussion a little of time. So again, my next slide is about the, the, the TUS or the table of uh, specification for technical upgrading to professional mechanical engineer. Per resolution number 12, series of 2019, released last August 2019. So this was released by the uh, by PRC BME providing uh, a clear guidelines or the table of specification for technical upgrading to professional mechanical engineer or, same, uh, or senior grade mechanical engineer. This is a complete competency assessment for PME applicants. And obviously, this is before the pandemic. This new table of specification discuss all the percentage ratings of the three competency assessment criteria which are then set forth by our Board of Mechanical Engineering on how an applicant for PME will pass the two stages of PME examination process. Okay, let's discuss what's in the resolution. Sabi ko kanina, the, this uh, resolution is a complete competency assessment provision which focus on these three criteria. One is your expertise. Second, on your design knowledge. And the third one is your leadership and values. So this is actually the content of the resolution. And the legal basis, of course, yung ating Republican 8495 under Section 17 is scope of examination. The scope of examination and the method of procedure shall be described by the board with a special reference to the applicant's ability to perform the type of engineering work pertaining to a particular category he is to be registered in. The second one, for personal mechanical engineer, Granting of Professional Mechanical Engineering Certificate of Registration shall be testimonial in nature. So take note, testimonial, sabi ko nga, which shall include the submission of an enumeration of the applicant's experience, including the presentation of engineering report or technical paper pertinent to his line of experience as attested by two or more professional mechanical engineers in an affidavit for this four post, right? So, so again, we'll not discuss the qualification because the same qualification as discussed on our 8495. Na discuss na natin kanina, so we'll not discuss this because of the interest of time. Let's discuss the competency assessment for PM applicants. Dito na tayo mag-focus. The first one is about your expertise. Take note on your expertise. Sinasabi dito sa resolution, 
have shown at least three or four of the following competencies. At least three. Take note, three. Ay, apat lang ito. So you should have three at least. Introduce technical innovation, modification, and inventation, improvement, and to enhance the effectiveness of mechanical engineering practice related to sciences. Introduce, implement, and adapt in policies and guidelines in the practice of mechanical engineering profession. The third one, technological transfer and share of knowledge to fellow professional. And the last one, which is, I think is very important, communication skill. And letter B has shown all competencies. Sinasabi dito, at least yung number yung letter A, at least three to four. Meron ka pang uh, isa na pwedeng uh, meron kang uh, medyo mababa yung pag uh, i-develop mo. But on the design phase, has shown all the competencies. One, demonstrate the ability to provide technical solution to technical problems. Use proven technology and let's design innovation. The third one, provide cost-effective result on capital investment and operational costs. Import provides low maintenance costs and low life cycle costs. And the last one, familiarity and relevant laws, codes, and other references and practice of the profession. All right? This one, the third one is about your leadership and values. Has shown at least four to six of the following competencies with item six as compulsory competency. So unahin na natin yung item number six because sinasabi dito ng resolution number, this is compulsory. What is this number six? Number six, sinasabi adherence to the code of conduct of mechanical engineers. So take note, a very important on leadership and values is adherence to the code of conduct of mechanical engineers. In your number one, planning, leading, organizing, controlling, staffing in the area of your practice and demonstrate work progress and its job level attained in the practice, manage significant engineering project with a multiple disciplinary team, lead and manage an engineering business station, and the people mentor and motivate fellow mechanical in organization. Ano sinasabi dito? May understanding kung applicant ka sa IAS, professor mechanical engineer, dapat meron ka ng leadership quality. Probably you're already on a supervisor level or manager in your organization because sinasabi niya you manage significant engineering project or work with multiple disciplinary team. So meaning, And of course, you are mentoring and motivating fellow mechanical engineers and organization. So you are lead, you are lead a leader. So that is the qualification set forth on item C on leadership and values. So take note that applicants for PME take note this letter C on leadership and values. Again, on number four, the rating na ito. So wala nang pagbabago about rating. Seventy percent ang pasang, but without any fifty percent below in any subject. So, walang pagbabago, ganun pa rin. Sure, tinga kayo, 70 kami noon, 75 pa. Alright? So, this, this, let's discuss the first oral examination. Nandito yung mga ratings, and I think mamaya you can uh, ask the RBMs kung the same rating pa ba ang uh, i-adapt the present uh, health crisis. Ito bang rating na ito on the first oral examination, ganun pa rin ba ang magiging uh, equivalent ng uh, uh, percentage? For the interest na itong resolution, let's discuss what is uh, in this resolution. And number one, about your expertise. So, for the... Ibig sabihin niyan, yung may dual citizenship na, medyo may advantage ka. Since you are already having a dual citizenship, a Filipino citizen and the same as senior citizen, medyo on, on the expertise. Number of years, relevant to mechanical engineering practice. So 30%. So we'll not discuss one by one. The second one, exposure to various fields, 30%. So nisabi dyan, more than five fields, 22 to 30. One field, that is 7%. So yung mga young engineers that gusto kagan maging professional mechanical, 
please take note on this. Expertise, again, technical demands on those fields in the terms of difficulties, large, moderate, and small complex and equivalence. All right, on the design, which is equivalent to 40%, competency, competence in various mechanical field, 40%, show five design competencies, three to four, zero to two, accuracy and answering technical questions, high accuracy, accurate most of time and not accurate to most of time, composure and confidence, calm and confidence at least, moderate, nervous and uh, apprehensive. Tao kapag alam ang uh, sinasabi and he is really preferred on uh, any questions that might be asked by our board of mechanical engineers. Very confident. Nasa composure ka. Pero kung hindi ka talaga sigurado sa sinasabi mo, mahulit-mahuli ka din because of your body language. Alam natin yan. We are all mechanical engineers. We know. We interview so applicants. We manage people. We know people na nagsisinungaling sa'yo because of his reaction on body language. Malalamat malaman mo yan na ikailinoloko ng isang tao na yan. Same with our Board of Mechanical Engineering. When, ask, when, asking, uh, when uh, asking question in, uh, and, uh, giving you, and you will be giving uh, and answering them to you the question, makikita nila kung ano yung reaction mo doon. So better na huwag ka nalang magsinungaling. Sabihin mo hindi mo alam and uh, be honest to yourself. Pag nandoon ka na, na hindi mo talaga alam and uh, with that question, hindi mo alam, you just say to the board, uh, my, my apology, vulnerable because I don't know that, that uh, question and probably I research later on kung ano talaga yung tama dyan. So the better, mas maganda yan kaysa magchamba-chamba ka na lang ng ansya mo. Alright? Ability to communicate. This is very, very important. We know engineers ay hindi talaga good in communication but Make sure na kaya mo talagang panindigan yung sinasabi mo. Fluent, no grammar errors. Fluent with two or more errors and unable to express clearly. So kung hindi mo naman kaya magsalita, hindi mo kaya i-defend yung sarili mo, ay pag-isipan mo muna kung talaga bang uh, it's the right time for you to apply for senior grade mechanical engineer. And leadership on values, 20%. Demonstrate independence and decision making. Demonstrate leadership qualities and, of course, your adherence to code of conduct. Okay, okay. The second part is your technical engineering report. Yung uh, completeness with instruction. You, are, you should be following instruction. Dapat kung ano sinasabi, ng, uh, which is mamaya, nandun sa ating uh, resolution number 20, mamaya makikita natin yung mga instruction yan. And technical content and the discussion of your report. And organization and preparation of engineering report. So, Organize mo yung report. Good instruction and methodical. So, so yan ang yung mga equivalent uh, ratings on your technical engineering report. Yes, and conclusion and recommendation. And, of course, yung grammar and spelling. So, kung magagawa ka ng inyong report mo, make sure na mayroon kang uh, taga-check ng iyong grammar and spelling. Para hindi naman, uh, hindi naman puro wrong spelling at wrong grammar yung may bigay mo, may submit mong technical engineering report. Alright, the second oral examination. Uh, I think uh, mayroon tong bago doon sa, sa resolution number 20. So, mamaya, hindi natin to discuss because mayroon tong bago doon. Because of this, uh, this is only applicable on the face-to-face. Yung sa oral examination, mag, may konting pagbabago. And uh, of course, yung 1, 2, 3, yung, uh, of course, yung 1 na yan, yung pang quality, but yung 1.2, gas of the subject matter, that's equivalent to 40%, yan ang tandaan mo and accuracy at during technical questions. And uh, you, of course, yung composure and confidence, again, that is 10%. Ability to communicate, equivalent to 10%. Summary of rating, for resolution number 20, again, that is equivalent to 100%. Pinakamalaki is your engineering report, which is equivalent to 50%. Interview 25, the second oral interview, which is only based on your technical engineering report, 25%. So pagandahin mo talaga yung engineering report mo because that is 50% equivalent of your grade. All right? 
Second topic. The guidelines on the online oral examination. Uh, this is actually the guidance authorizing the conduct of online examination of mechanical engineers to professional mechanical engineers per PRC BM resolution number 20 series of 2019, which was released last November 19, 2021. So, init-init pa to. Wala pang isang taon. All right. Again, on a legal basis, our Republic Act 8495. The, the, the resolution says, whereas under, under Section 9, Letter A of the Republic Act 8495, or the Philippine Mechanical Engineering Act of 1998, empowers the Professional Regulatory Board of Mechanical Engineering to promulgate and adopt the rules and regulation necessary for carrying out the provision of this act. Whereas, again, section number nine, letter B and D, they're all authorized the board to supervise registration, licensure, and practice of mechanical engineering engineers in the Philippines and to issue certificate of registration to successful examinees, respectively. Again, on the legal basis, section 14, of the same law states that any applicants, the same with the other, you know, with the, with the resolution number 12, their applicants for professional candidacy must, at the time of publication, established to the space of the board, yung dating requirement. Citizen of the Philippines must not have convicted by law of crime involving moral authority at least four years of active mechanical engineering practice and must have been attested by at least two professional mechanical engineers. So walang changes, ganun pa rin yung requirement for you to be qualified as an applicant for professional mechanical engineering examination. Again, uh, legal basis, section 17, provides that the granting of professional mechanical engineer certificate shall be testimonial in nature. And again, whereas there's a present threat of spread of corona, coronavirus disease 2019 following the declaration of the Office of the President and the Inter-Age Task Force of Emerging Infectious Diseases, placing the nation in different categories of community quarantine, imposing travel limitation, limiting movement of people, Thus, hampation of face-to-face, -face, take note, face-to-face -face oral examination for applicants of mechanical engineering, mechanical upgrading for, to professional mechanical engineering or professional mechanical engineer. So this is the basis because of this COVID-19 pandemic that there are, there are a lot of limitation. But again, uh, uh, nagiging... Uh, magandang direction ng ating uh, uh, recovery on this uh, pandemic. And uh, having was, hopefully, magkaroon na tayo ng herd immunity and uh, we can go back to, not, not, really, not necessarily, in a, this is the same normal as, as previous before the pandemic. But uh, hopefully, magbago na and uh, medyo lumuwag na yung ating restriction and we can travel and we can meet face to face. But uh, because mayroon pang limitation of the, set by the Board of Mechanical Engineering. So let's follow this resolution number 20. On the legal basis, in view of the foregoing, the continuous, to continuously conduct the oral examination in, the, in, uh, in this uh, unprecedented, la, um, unprecedented time, uh, uh, yeah, the Board hereby resolve as hereby resolve to authorize the conduct of online oral examination of mechanical engineers to professional mechanical engineers and adopt the following procedure in order to carry the objected thereof. So ito yung, uh, ito yung, ano, ito yung naging basis ng uh, online examination. Again, yung coverage based on that uh, resolution number 20, this resolution shall be observed in the online examination for applicants 
or senior grade or professional mechanical engineer or VME. And again, list of requirements. The following documents, paper must be submitted with the application form. So, yun pa din, ito yung standard requirement na kailangan mong i-comply uh, for you to become qualified for a senior grade mechanical engineering examination process. Letter A, certificate of com competency under oath by a professional mechanical engineer. And second one, or the letter B, affidavit of the applicants. And certificate of your experience under oath execu uh, executed by your superior. So, sabihin niya yung certificate of experience mo na with that uh, experience, with that certificate, sinasabi that you have at least four years active mechanical engineering practice. Recon from the date of your registration as mechanical engineer. Of course, your detailed description of your machinery machinery handle. Baka mo yan, uh, nakakapat na taong ka naman, hindi mo alam kung anong tsura ng kompreso. And uh, yung turbine, nakita mo lang sa libro. And of course, yung ibang equipment related to mechanical engineering, nakikita mo lang sa libro. And of course, list of design, if any, undertaken with the supervision of professional mechanical engineer. And letter F, your curriculum today. Pagandahin mo yan as an applicant. Make sure that this is the best CV that you will be, you will made and submit to the Board of Mechanical Engineering. Because with that CV, malalaman nila kung anong, anong, uh, uh, what kind of mechanical engineer you are. What position you have as an applicant for senior grade mechanical engineer. Yun ang magiging first impression of the board and the engineer as you as an applicant. With you as an applicant. And the last, I think uh, the letter G is at least yung two titles of proposed report. Yung report mo. Which short write up and table of contents. And the report must be, uh, must be pertinent or aligned to, or relevant to your experience as applicant. So check mo yan. Ano ba yung pwede maging proposed title mo engineering uh, report na relevant to your line of experience? At least two proposed type uh, report. Pag-isipan mo na yung mabuti. Huwag mo na may propose na parang gagawa ka ng isang buong power plant. Okay. Again, on the list of requirement, and duly accomplished computerized application shall be submitted to the Professional Regulation Commission or the PRC, Licensure and uh, Registration Division of any regional offices, regional office during office hour on any working day. Right? So, pwede mo siyang i-submit to any regional uh, uh, offices of the, the board of the uh, Professional Regulation Commission. The technical engineering report accompanied by the following. Take note. Yung technical engineering report, once you pass the first interview and you have the given the, the privilege to, to make your engineering report for the second oral interview, ito yung dapat na andin sa inyo sa yung engineering report. Yung letter of transmittal addressed to the Professional Regulation uh, Regulator Board of Mechanical Engineering or the BME. Your affidavit of applicants affidavit of competency in your CV as an applicant and a certificate of experience and of course, yung engineering report mo. Again, a little note uh, based on that solution. Sinasabi ng notes that uh, the technical engineering report an A4 size. Take note, A4 size bond paper, type double space, book bound, with hardcover, colored, blue, maroon, black, green, green, or red. While the complete application form, including the copies of all supporting doc, doc, document, must be submitted using legal bond paper. Oh, yeah, malito na naman kayo dyan. So A4, yung, yung technical engineering report, while yung mga supporting documents mo, I in legal size bond paper. Second, the applicant must refer past hard copy of the duly accomplished application form 
and your technical engineering report and all other supporting documents mentioned above. Each set must have a corresponding soft copy and must be saved in three USB plus time. Why three? Because tatlo yung ating board of mechanical engineer. Hindi naman pwedeng mag-sharing sila ng USBs. So that's basically the, the reason. Tatlo yung ating board of mechanical engineer. So tatlong USB ang uh, ibigay mo sa kanila. And number three, all documents must be originally signed by the applicants. And should an electronic signature be used, the applicant must provide evidence that it is it been digitally signed by him. Ang gumawa ng electronic signature mo, pirman mo na lang originally yung, yung uh, old documents. And number four, every applicant shall be required to present himself or herself before at least two members of the board for two interviews. The first oral examination shall be made before submission of your engineering report and may deal on any field of practice in mechanical engineering, including the mechanical engineering law and code of ethics. Na-discuss natin yan kanina, that stages of uh, mechanical engineering, uh, popular mechanical engineering examination process, which is the first interview, kasama ang code of ethics and the basic mechanical engineers. On the second oral interview, which is the examination, which examination will only deal on the engineering report, yung engineering report mo, submitted by the applicants. The applicant shall be sent notices for interview, except in meritorious cases, non-appearance of applicants, applicant in any or both of the scheduled interview shall mean failure in oral examination. Second interview is about your technical engineering report. Personal opinion, hindi naman sinasabi. Gawin mo mag-isa yung engineering report mo. Because of the time limitation. 60 days lang yan. Marami tayong lifeline. May kaibigan ka, may kamagana ka, and uh, you have uh, ka, ka-opisina mo. Pwede mo naman humingi ka ng tulong to make sure that you will comply with the, with the, with the, with the requirement 60 days to submit yung, yung engineering report. But make sure that uh, yung pinagawa mo o yung, uh, yung hiningi mong tulong doon sa kaibigan mo ay pinag-aralan mo. At sigurado kang tama yung ginawa niya with respect to your topic. So that during your second interview, kahit pa ikot-ikuting ka man ng Board of Mechanical Engineering about your technical engineering report, you can answer it directly to their eyes. Diba? So that's very simple. Simple lang. Hindi mo naman kailangan na ako. Oh, personally, nung ginawa ko yung aking technical engineering report, 10 year, more than 10 years ago, humingi rin ako ng tulong on, on my office mates because that, there are a lot of calculations. And uh, if I will do it alone, and especially during the, the composition of my engineering report, kasama ko pati, katulong ko yung misis ko. Siya yung aking nagiging uh, grammarian, taga-check ng aking uh, grammar, spelling, everything, and uh, of course, yung pagkaka-align, pages sa, sa aking engineering report. But pinag-aralan ko talaga yung aking engineering report. And of course, during the preparation of my uh, power, PowerPoint presentation, on my department, on the second. Uh, Paki-dialect lang po yung ating mic doon sa my sounds. All right, thank you very much. All right, procedure again on the first oral examination. This is online. The applicant shall uh, uh, duly accomplish the application form. Uh, it's, it's Annex A. Uh, but uh, again, the application form is the same. Walang pagbabago. Or uh, paste on uh, the previous application, which is available at PRC Licensure Registration Division and any regional offices. Or can be downloaded. Take note, can be downloaded at prc.gov.ph. So yung application, pwede mo i-download with that website or Professional Regulation Commission. 
then the applicant shall follow the steps enumerated at the back of the application form together with the requirement for pre-evaluation. The second one, the applicant shall submit a soft copy of complete documentary requirement, item one and two list of requirement, and PDF format to the official email address of the board at the PRB underscore PME applications at prc.gov.ts. So take note of that email address. Kung saan ipapadala yung iyong uh, electronic or soft copy of your application for evaluation. Incomplete requirement shall be sent back to the applicants informing them of the lacking requirements that they need to submit. The board secretary shall forward the same to the board immediately upon receiving. In the third one, the applicant shall also send the hard copies to the board through the VRC Archive and Record Division or ERD personally or by a career of your choice. And upon receipt of the ERB or the Archive and Record Division, the documents shall be immediately endorsed to the PRB Secretariat Division. And number four, upon receipt of the complete document, the board shall accomplish the action sheet and reflect their own their decision on the applicant application. The applicant shall be informed of the approval or disapproval of his her application within a reasonable number of days from the receipt of the application. In the fifth one, the board shall, is, shall schedule the applicants for online first oral examination. And the board secretary shall send to any available and convenient means a notice of online first examination to the applicant concerned. So meaning, pag ikaw ay naging qualified or na-approve yung, yung application, the board secretary shall send, will send you an, a notice of online examination. And the electronic link shall be sent to the board and the applicants within two days prior to the scheduled activity. For this purpose, the DSPRB shall make the necessary arrangement of the video conferencing facility, preferably using platform or any platform available. And after the first oral examination, the board shall inform the applicants of the first of the final title of the report as approved. Meaning, yung iyong proposed engineer report. Bibigyan na siyo ng board of mechanical engineering. Alin sa dalawa, probably. O yung dalawa. O yung isa lang. Doon sa yung proposed title of, of your engineering report. And the applicant may start writing his her technical engineering report. And the deadline of submission of the TR or technical engineering report shall be within 60 days. Or sorry, within 60 calendar days. When you say calendar days, walang, Sunday, walang Sundays and holidays there. Recon from the first oral examination. Meaning, kung ngayon ka na interview, this is your first day of the 60 days. It may be extended, meron din pwede rin extend, upon request and only for, for justifiable reason. So meron naman extension, pwede kang humingi na extension, but make sure that your reason is justifiable. Kapanipaniwala sa ating Board of Mechanical Engineering. Alright? On the second examination, with the second interview, oral examination, so, big sabihin niya, you have complied already the first interview and uh, you have submitted your technical engineering report on time and schedule. First, the applicant shall prepare the technical engineering report, five copies hardbound, hardbound book with their USBs and send the same to the board and the RD, archive and uh, division personally or by a career of your choice, of choice of the applicants. So, meaning, pwede mong dalhin personal o pwede mong ipadala. And the same must be sent by the applicant 
today are the before the deadline. Sabihin niyan, before the deadline, that is 60 days. But note, applicants shall send four copies. RC and retain one copy, assist and receiving copy. So, sabihin, with that five, uh, technically yung report, yung, up, yung isa maiiwan sa'yo as your receiving copy. Then within three days upon receipt of the technical engineering report, the ARD shall endorse this document to the board, to the board secretary. And the board secretary shall appraise the board of the application received and immediately send a copy of the technical engineering report for their evaluation. Again, so ipapadala yan sa ating board of engineering, yung engineering report for the evaluation. And the board shall schedule the applicants for online oral examination. Take note. The board shall schedule the applicants for online oral examination or notify them should the application be denied. The schedule of the second oral examination shall be coordinated with licensure office. Therefore, a notice of second examination shall be issued. Right? Number four, the DSPRB shall make the necessary arrangement with the applicants for the availability of the video conferencing facility. The rating sheet, uh, sheet in the Annex B shall be sent to the board at least two days before the scheduled activity meaning yung examination mo. And similarly, the link detail shall be sent to the board and the regional office concerned. And number five, the report of rating shall be issued thereafter and the successful examinees shall take their oath and shall receive their certificate of registration and professional identification card as professional mechanical engineer accordingly. So, after your second oral examination, sabi ko nga, pagandahan mo na, pagbutihin mo na, because that's the final stage of your examination to become professional mechanical engineer. All right? And the established procedure of this matter shall be observed. All right? Schedule of oral examination and venue. Since this is online, so the conduct of oral examination shall be, shall be at any PRC regional office. Take note. Since it is online, though this is online, hindi pwede kung saan-saan lang, hindi pwede sa bahay mo. So the conduct of online examination shall be at the PRC regional office where the applicant submitted his or her documents or at any approved facility abroad in case nasa abroad ka nearest to the foreign based applicants. So when yan dito ka sa Pilipinas, kung applicant ka in the Philippines, your online examination will be at the PRC regional office kung saan mo sila bit yung iyong application. However, kung nasa abroad ka naman, it can be money, it can be arranged on any facilities nearest to the foreign-based application. Alright? Second, pursuant to section of Executive Order number 835, Series of 2009, the Department of Labor and Employment or the DOLE through the PRC and the Department Department of Foreign Affairs, take note, to its consular office abroad shall be jointly responsible and the adequate and conducive venue of examination among others. However, foreign-based applicants through the Philippine Professional Organization be, may be request or recommend to the PRC and the consular office for an examination being abroad. Maybe lang. So, kung meron kayong professional organization abroad, you can recommend a venue for your examination. 
but it should be approved by the Department of Labor and Department of Foreign Affairs. The third one, the PRC, will coordinate in securing the venue as well as the provision of at least one stop from the, uh, for the identified agency or facility abroad to assist in facilitating the conduct of the online interview examination. At least, mayroon silang isang tao dyan na pwedeng uh, makatulong for the, to facilitate the conduct of online oral examination. And number four, on the uh, schedule for oral examination and venue, the schedule for online oral examination must be subject to the approval, of course, sabi ko na ng PRC through the, resolu through the resolution as referred by the PSRB in coordination with licensure office. And uh, last but not the least, all costs that may be incurred in the administration thereof shall be charged to the Professional Regulation Commission or the PRC. Number six, the last, the schedule of examination, second oral examination shall be subject to the approval of the board through the resolution as, as prepared by the SPRB in coordination with the licensure office. Okay? Proper decorum. Right. Kala nyo, kahit na online, wala nang proper decorum. Nandun pa din. The examinee shall maintain formality and solemnity during the two stages of oral examination. Again, proper dress code shall be expected from the applicants and stepping out of the video conference, taking calls, shooting, doing any other activities that may cause an interruption to the examination are exhibited. So tanda natin, hindi pa was nandong ka na sa loob ng uh, examination facility oh, and you are already on live through any type of platform. Avoid taking any calls or taking any photos or whatever that would cause interruption to the oral examination. The second, the PMA examinee should be reference facility a facility uh, a, waiting, a waiting room at least 30 minutes prior to the scheduled interview. At least 30 minutes. Doon sa resolution number 12, mayroon yan different points pag na-delay ka on punctuality. But this time, dito sa resolution number 20, sinasabi dito at least 30 minutes prior to the scheduled interview. But at, that is the minimum. It's up to you applicants, na siguraduhin mong hindi ka malilate on your final, on your interview. The examiner shall be required to turn on their video camera during the entire conduct of the oral examination. So hindi pwedeng uh, pa, power off ka ng iyong camera, you should be, you should, your camera should be maintained na naka-on during the, the, the entire oral examination. Audio should always be on. Same with your audio, unless requested on the board to put you on hold, on mute. So unless na sinabihan ka ng board of mechanical engineer na paki-mute ng yung, yung uh, microphone, dapat hindi mo siya in off including your video camera. And for record and verification purposes, the entire oral examination shall be recorded by the host. So, nakarecord naka dance. So, if there are any questions later on with your result of your examination, the video recorder could always be consulted. Titingnan ulit. Pwede nang ibalikan. Pwede nang i-rewind. Pwede nang i-review. Alright? Thank you very much, Sir Nards. Ma... Uh... Uh, maganda. Uh, Tapos na ba natin? Tapos na? Uh, Continue, sir. Continue muna, sir. Continue. Good. 
akala ko titigil na ako. Ay, continue, sir. Thank you na eh. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Continue, uh, sir. Uh, Nards, continue. Okay. Sir, sir, Nards. Nards, uh, do you hear me? Yes, sir. Please, sir Lawrence, sir Lawrence. Hi, ah, sir uh, Lawrence. Uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Congratulations, congratulations. Nand- hey. Nandito ko ngayon sa Dabao. Uh, uh, medyo nagtatrabaho ng konti. Uh, sir, thank you. Sorry, uh, so, uh, hindi kita na nabusisan. Eh. Akala ko kasi... Ah, uh, sinong uh, Medyo, kaboses kasi mat- niyan eh. Masama ang boses ko ngayon eh. Ang tagal kong kumanta kagabi eh. Ah, kagano ba? Uh, <laughs> Thank you sir. Mamaya sir ko. sa ano, question and answer. Andiyan ka naman. Sige, and, okay. Uh, I, 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 oh. I, I, I saw the question on the chart, ba, uh, chat box. Kayang-kaya mo ng question. Uh, Kayang-kaya mo ng answer <laughs> lahat dyan. Uh, you have all the full authority to answer all those hey, thank questions. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Honorable Lawrence. Uh, but uh, again, uh, okay. if you are, if you have nandito time, lang ako, nandito lang ako. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, big, big, big. Sir. Please extend my uh, happy birthday greetings to uh, President Clay. Yes, Cleo. yes, sir. Um, Sabi mo magblowout na siya. <laughs> so next, so next na induction, sir. Uh, um, <laughs> Sige, sir. By the way, Ingat with respect to induction, kagabi nasa Tagum kami, miniting namin yung mga... Ayan, nandiyan si Chairman Boy, papunta na rito Nako. sa Go Hotel yan. Uh, <laughs> oh, magandang hapon sa inyo lahat. Lord. Ay, Ay Sir Boy, sir. magandang hapon. Papunta na siya rito. Papunta na siya rito. <laughs> sir, uh, papunta na ako to... doon sa meeting place namin. Okay. Nandang po kami ni Honorable Lawrence. Eh. So, pasensya na kayo. Medyo, ano, nagdadrive ako ngayon pa doon sa downtown. Down, ah, thank eh, you, sir. Ah. Okay. Sige sir, um, Ingat, sir, later pa naman sir. Uh, later. Oh, oh, sir po. Boy, kaya kaya niyo na take your time na. <laughs> sir, mamaya sir, may, may part. Sir, may part kayo mamaya. Open po sa TV po. Mas magaling pa Mag- si Dad sa mag-usapan ko eh. <laughs> Sige lang, bahala tingnan na lang natin, basta ka online lang kami ha. Okay. Sige sir boy, may may okay, part kayo okay. later. Um, stand by lang muna. Relax muna kayo dyan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy birthday, friends. Sumagot niyo mga ano, mga question na yan. Sir Nards, go ahead. Okay. Uh, thank you, thank you, sir boy. Thank you, sir. Ano ka po, Lawrence? Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. Alright. Tuloy tayo. Tuloy. Alright. I think this is the second to the last slide of the resolution number 20 of the Board of Mechanical Engineers of the Guidance of the Rising the Conduct of the Online Local Examination for Mechanical Engineers to Professional Mechanical Engineer or the Senior Grade Mechanical Engineer. Alright. So, effectivity of this resolution. Sinasabi ng resolution shall be remain in full force and effect until fully or partially lifted or withdrawn by the Board of by the Board through an appropriate resolution. So meaning, meaning this resolution is effective unless may another resolution na ilabas yung ating Board of Mechanical Engineering through the Professional Regulation Commission. And this resolution shall take effect immediately and pull, uh, in full and uh, complete publication in an uh, official gazette and any major del, uh, daily newspaper of general circulation in the Philippines. So nailabas na ito uh, and, and it is in, the effect, is in effect now. Uh, long, uh, last 19 uh, November 2021. So, in full blown uh, na itong uh, effectivity ng ating uh, resolution number 20. So, this uh, resolution is uh, again signed by our chairman of the Board of Mechanical Engineering, uh, Honorable uh, Lilando Conti, and of course, yung ating uh, two members of the Board of Mechanical Engineering, Honorable uh, Lawrence Larion and uh, Honorable Jericho Borja, as attested by attorney o may may the PRC TTRB Secretariat Division and approved of course by the chairman of the PRC Professor Regulation Commission Honorable Chido Chopilo S. Pilandro and yung ating two commissioner Honorable Yolanda Reyes and Honorable Jose Y. Clepto Jr. Uh, that is actually the complete uh, resolution uh, uh, number 20 of the Board of Mechanical Engineering Series of 2019. To continue, again, uh, na-discuss na natin yung requirement. Again, uh, for, the, for those who are uh, eyeing to, to, be, to become a professional mechanical engineer, this is the requirement. Umpisan mo na. Tomorrow, umpisan mo na. Manguha ka ng requirements mo. So unless na hindi hindi mo to umpisahan hindi ka magiging professional mechanical engineer. Umpisan mo na sa number one 
yung original and photocopy of your birth certificate or NSO issued by the with the issued a birth certificate and issue security paper. Ah, uh, yung mga nasa abroad na may passport na and and everyone na may passport wala kayong problema about your birth certificate. But yung iba diyan na uh, hindi pa nagchine-check if you have problem with your NSO, make sure check niyo na problem sa inyong NSO. Kasi ako I experienced that when I applied for uh PME application. When I get my NSO, may problema ako sa NSO. Iba yung pangalan ko nakalagay. Huwag nating tingnan baka kasi mas maganda yung uh, mali kaysa pangalan ko ngayon. Kaya gusto nga nila gamitin ko na daw yung mali at alisin ko na itong narbito kasi pangit daw. <laughs> at anyway, so again, original NSO issued merit certificate. And uh and security. So yung may mga asawa na diyan, so make sure na Uh, you have this uh, original photocopy your uh, marriage certificate. And uh, again, uh, list of design undertaken as with the supervision of your PME, with the PME, and uh, y- yung pinakanda mong uh, curriculum vitae. Sinasabi ko kanina, ayusin nung mabiti, mabuti yung, yung CV because this is the first impression na makikita sa'yo ng ating board of mechanical engineer. Pagandahin mo ito, kung, baga, kung sa ice cream, dagdagan muna ng icing. Pero hindi naman yung sobra kasi makikita rin naman yan kung nagsisinungaling ka on your CV. And of course, yung two titles of your course engineering report with short write-up and table of contents. And of course, yung NBI clearance mo. Nasabi ng second uh, requirement doon, second uh, qualification for a, an applicant, uh, you should not be involved in any, uh, with, uh, with any active case of uh, having a moral uh, Torpitude. So, siguro doon wala kang kaso sa NBI. You have a clear NBI clearance. And updated professional ID as as medical engineer. And of course, yung affidavit of decency uh, with valid uh, PRC ID of the PME and your affidavit of applicants and certificate of experience duty to rise and by a registered uh, professional mechanical engineer and uh, detailed description machinery is handled and uh, of course, yung 900 pesos application fee for your examination as professional mechanical engineer. And last, substamp mailing envelope. That's basically the requirements for the application for professional mechanical engineering. Oral examination. Timeline, again, Uh, preparation of documents, kung kompleto ka naman, uh, with that number, list of requirement, probably you can handle it for a week. And uh, submission to PRC, sinasabi natin, you can submit your requirement online or to any regional offices of the PRC. And yung, yung first interview, uh, pag nasubmit mo naman yung lahat ng requirement mo, based on that list of requirement, yung person will be provided, the schedule provided with the BME. And your report preparation, again, walang pagbabago, 60 days from the date of your first interview. And that people one, submission your report, you, again, will be scheduled by the Board of Mechanical Engineering. And last result, ayun, magpakatay ka na ng baka kung uh, pumasa ka as, uh, on the first and second oral examination. So, because that's the last stage of our career, of our license as engineers. The highest uh, license right now for us mechanical engineer, the professional mechanical engineering license, so the PMA license. So, pwede ka nang uh, mag-sign and seal in any mechanical plans. Basta mayroon ka ng professional mechanical engineer number or license. All right. Uh, I think uh, I've done uh, my uh, presentation on time. Uh, time is 5:56. So, uh, in closing, entrust yourself to God with humility. Everything is going to be okay.
Maybe not today, but eventually it will. Trust God. Hold fast to your hope. God never fails. Again, thank you very much for uh, giving me the opportunity to become your source speaker for these uh, guidelines on how to become professional mechanical engineer. And I do hope and pray with this short seminar, I inspired more mechanical engineers to become professional mechanical engineers. Thank you very much and magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Thank you very much, Sir Nards, for your time. Um, hindi ka nagsasawa mag, <laughs> sir, mag, mag share ng mga ideas sa amin sa PSIM and sa mga fellow mechanical engineers. And sir, marami pa tayong mga PME, uh, how to become PME free webinars in the coming months. So, yun na yung, um, ito talaga yung gusto na emphasize ng PSIM National is to give a free webinar to everyone. May mga nagtatanong kung may CPD points for this dahil free siya, wala po tayong CPD. But uh, hopefully, marami tayong mga events na we will be having some CPD points. Ito siya, ang purpose natin is more on mentoring. Kasi ang daming interested na mag-join ng uh, mag-take ng PM, hindi nila alam paano gawin. So yung mga nagtatanong kanina, yung mga nag, uh, nagko-comment, just, just write in all your um, concerns, your questions, and your mga suggestions. Later on, uh, with our BME forum, we will include this. We will ask the questions, each questions na hindi na yung mga, para mapagandaan rin ni Sir Nards. And um, may mga questions mamaya na masagot na rin ng mga, mga BME natin. So, uh, we are we are we're catching up with our time tonight and um, we nick we move to our next um, uh, part of the program sir nards standby lang muna sir sa mga may mga tanong kanina yeah, yeah. doon sa chat um, uh, ako lang maybe... yung sabi ko kanina uh, yung uh, i will answer your question to the best of my but in case hindi ko masagot we have our three bms na dapat na pwedeng sumagot sa inyong question so so yung kaya ko, I will do my best to answer your questions. And then, um, wag po kayong magalala yung mga nag-attend ngayon. Um, we will be um, sending you the emails, yung mga sagot. So kung yung mga nag-register sa atin sa PSIM as a member, uh, we will send you uh, yung mga tanong, yung mga unanswered questions, we will be sending it to you. And yung iba, we will be posting it in our Facebook at yung mga social media accounts natin. So, we like to request everyone na mag-add ta follow tayo ng PSIM uh, Facebook page at mag-register po tayo para ma-update namin kayo sa mga tanong especially yung mga nag yung nag-join uh, ngayon may iba kasi na nas, nanonood lang ng Facebook natin na please join na may mga may mga link naman tayo ng membership natin we will be sending ano din dito so tulungan tayo um, we we in the PSIM we 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 are here to help we are we are we focus on servant leadership so may mga concerns just send us a message sa facebook even dito sa chat natin recorded naman ito okay that's it and we will we will thank you sir nerd for your time yeah yeah, yeah always well next, okay. next month sir nerd ha yeah, no problem <laughs> <laughs> so we still have our uh, we continue the pme free webinar walang bayad yeah. for all filipino mechanical engineers worldwide so Next is I, I think I would like suggest na yung PME natin is a complete try shop siguro. Uh, yung, yes po. Uh, kasi this is actually a, a short discussion only on the guidelines but the complete try shop uh, at least kailangan natin siguro ng 4 hours. Yep. On the to in the discussion of the PME try shop on how to how to become a PME talaga. Nandoon yung uh, we'll teach you how to pre prepare your abstract, how to construct your uh, uh, table of contents and uh, and ad others other uh, uh, documents uh, for your uh, application as uh, applicants for PME. Yes, uh, thank you, sir. Uh, isa din yung sa mga plans natin sa sa technical at sa sa PSIM national. Kasi ngayon hindi pa tayo talaga required na mag uh, mag face to face. But hopefully, uh, we can do that, sir, in the in a longer plan. Mas maganda ngayon kasi marami na nag -aten. I think this is our third time to be handling the, the PME free webinar. And I hope 
by next time yung sinasabi mo sir na we can do it parang face to face na makatulong din tayo sa mga um, yes po so i think um may uh, please share some slide bago we, we can we can proceed and we like to request everyone to to please turn on your videos para mag uh, picture muna tayo mag um, sino yung nandito ngayon para makikita naman natin mga magagandang lalaki at mga mag magagandang babae na pi na mga mechanical engineers i'm sure Marami dito nasa abroad, ang iba dito madilim pa yung room nila. So ilaw ng konti, pa-picture tayo para at makikita yung mga beautiful faces natin at mga especially yung sa mga malayong lugar. Yung sa Manila, oh, walang problema. Yung mga taga Mindanao, Visayas, Mindanao, maayong gabi kanin yung tanan diha. So turn on your videos. Ano may, pwede na may. Okay, let's count One, two, three. Okay, ready? One. Two, three, smile. Okay, another one. Sa iba naman. Okay, one, two, three, smile. Okay. Last one. One, two, three, smile. Okay. Ah, meron pa, meron pa. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, last one. One. Two, three, smile. Di ko alam saan tayo ngingitin ito. Yung tigas na tigas na yung bunga nga natin. Okay na Meron pa kay May? Okay na May? Okay na. So, so before tayo we proceed sa PR, sa BME forum, uh, later on we will be uh, we, we will be hearing from our distinguished BMEs. So, um, I'd like to call on our Executive Vice President. Ano May? Magkuhan ka ba May? Mag- uh, Meron ba tayong slides na pwede ipakita ngayon? Secretariat? Meron ko naka-share sa. Oh, sige, sige, share. Sandali. Hold on, di ko nakita. Ayun, ayun. Ay, okay. So, um, to introduce our guest panelists for tonight's event, the PME, the Professional Mechanical Engineering Engineer Forum, we'd like to call on our Executive Vice President, the PSIM National Engineer, Joel A. Mendes, PME. Go ahead, sir. Yes, uh, magandang gabi sa lahat. Uh, Bic, uh, Ismail. Yes, po. All right. Clear, sir. Clear. So, um, all right. So, first, I would like to uh, thanks the attendees for this uh, particular webinar. So, um, I hope my signal will not uh, cut me off, no? As I am uh, out of town. But um, as I proceed with this uh, particular task, I would like to thank uh, Engineer Nardito Cornelio, PME, or as I call him, uh, Sir Nards, whenever I sent a PM or a uh, mobile call. Sir Nards, thank you. So, Sir Nards, yes, yes. thank you for <laughs> unselfish and um, untiring support, not only to PSIM, but to all mechanical engineers who have attended this specific topic guidelines on how to become a PME. From the conceptualization of this specific topic and until now, Sir Nards is always ever ready and on the go to, to lend his time for the service to mechanical engineers. We in the National Board of PSIM, is so much thankful for his service and we are always looking forward in the future if we hold the same webinar i hope sir nards will always be available sir nards thank yes sir you. always available po <laughs> all right so as we open the time and opportunity for our mechanical engineers to a forum with our board of mechanical engineers Probably I am not introducing the BMEs to you as we already uh, know them. Instead, I will acknowledge and highlight the presence of our BMEs. No? Earlier, uh, we have heard the voice of uh, Engineer uh, Lawrence Larion and uh, BME uh, Chair Honorable uh, Leandro Conti. This afternoon, we are very thankful for the presence and the support of our Board of Mechanical Engineers. 
In attendance is the Chairman of the Board of Mechanical Engineer, Engineering, Honorable Leandro A. Conti, PME. Also Thank have you, here the Member of the Board of Mechanical Engineering, Honorable Lorenzo Pilarion, PME. And uh, by 6 p.m., uh, Honorable uh, uh, BME, Gener Jericho Borja, will also be in the webinar. I will not long of the time. Now the room is open for a forum to all mechanical engineers who have any questions or uh, queries regarding the application of uh, PME is open for discussion. Thank you, Sir Joel. Medyo choppy ka, sir. Uh, um, um, let's start muna. Tawagin ko muna, muna yung, yung sinasabi ni sir na mga BMEs natin. Isa-isa lang for a short message, sir, before we we go to the to the forum. Uh, wag, munang, wag nyo muna sagutin yung mga tanong kanina sa chat. And just uh, say a little bit. Um, short message, sir. Um, let's start muna siguro. Dito na yung tatlong kwa natin, BME. Let's start muna sa pinakakwa natin, yung present laging kasama namin. <laughs> um, we'd like to call on uh, Honorable Lorenzo P. Larion, PME, the member of the Board of Mechanical Engineering PRC. Sir, say something a little bit, sir. Short yeah, yeah, good afternoon. Ano rinig niyo ba ako? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, nandito kami sa ni Chairman Boy sa Davao uh, kasi meron kaming project kahapon sa Tago. So, uh, kahapon sa Tago kami nagpunta Nagpalipas ngayon, nandito kami ngayon sa, sa Dabao. Uh, I would like to commend everybody. Today is Sunday. Uh, alam ko na napakahirap ng, uh, ng uh, trabaho natin ngayon. Uh, even before Sunday, nandiyan tayo. I saw everybody. Uh, I saw the national president, uh, ano, uh, Engineer Cleopas Maceda. Happy birthday. Uh, and then, of course, uh, the, the the next or this this coming week we will be very busy because uh, there will be a uh, outtaking on uh, virtual outtaking on uh, June 9. Uh, for everybody's knowledge, uh, hirap na hirap kaming pa schedule ang uh, ang uh, outtaking kasi nga eh, gusto namin sana face-to-face uh, -face, kaya lang talagang uh, napakahirap pa mapa-approve ang face-to-face -face. kasi ang aming reason is that uh, hindi na nga umakit sa stage yung mga mechanical engineer na yan tapos eh, hindi pa aakit din sa stage pag ganun pa sila at sa uh, register. Uh, we have a very, very long discussions with the uh, PRC uh, kaya nga pinapabulaanan ko yung nabasa kong uh, yung nabasa ko sa kung saan sa inyo nabasa ko na sila daw ang nag uh, nag PRC para magkaroon ng OTK kasi lumalingan po yun. Hindi po ito yun. Ah, kami nga ay eh, nasa PRC na. Hirap na hirap pa kaming mapaprove yung uh, OTK eh. Sila pa kaya? So huwag kayong maniwala doon. Puro kayabangan lang yung sinasabi ng mga, ng mga nagsalita na yun. So uh, kami talagang uh, pinuposter namin na outtaking. Uh, he knows that uh, we, are, we are doing our best uh, to have the uh, outtaking face-to-face. Uh, -face. Pero kaya kami magpe-face-to-face -face dahil sa kondisyon na gusto namin uh, mapagbigyan yung mga magulang at uh, mga uh, registered mechanical engineer na talaga namang manumpa sila sa harapan ng tao, sa harapan ng Diyos, sa harapan ng kanilang magulang. Hindi po namin din pinagpipilitan ng face-to-face -face para po may kita. Wala pong kita dyan. Ha? Dalawang mata lang ang kita namin pero walang kita po dyan. Mga kasinawalingan po yung nababasa nyo, masyadong mga makakapal ang mukha nun. Ha? I say again, na makakapal ang mukha nila. Ha? Hindi nila alam kung anong trabaho ng PME, hindi nila alam ang trabaho ng PRC. So uh, sa inyong lahat, uh, gusto ko lang ma 
uh, sagutin yung ibang nasa chat box, uh, Bic, if you will allow me, uh, nagsisimula pa lang, nag, nagkukontinue pa lang kami mag-interview dun sa mga pending application on 2017, 2018, and 2019. Ngayon, ngayon nag-submit uh, on that year, kung hindi pa kayo natatawag, ipalo ang pinakaagad kay Arlene sa PRC Secretariat. Now, uh, meron pa akong nabasa, number of pages na kailangan, na walang number of pages as long as uh, your, uh, our, your uh, report is complete. Okay? And uh, uh, I have to submit application para pag tinawag kayo ng purpose interview, tuturuan naman namin kayo. Hindi naman namin kayo bubabayaan. Itutuloy ang dapat gawin. And you have heard uh, Engineer Nars Cornelio na pagkatapos nito, they will sponsor a, a PSME Rights Up. A Rights Up that will help you in your technical engineering report. Nasambiya sana si uh, Engineer Nars Cornelio dyan. Marami siya nang tatulungan. So uh, kami sa board, uh, we, we, we have a full trust on... Uh, uh, Engineer Nards Cornelio because of his uh, services to the profession. So, uh, maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Today is Sunday, a very hard day uh, sa para sa ating lahat. But we are here. We, 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 ha we, we have a total, I see the total number of participants of 185. That's very, very good uh, attendance. So, uh, to the organizers, lalo na kay May, Alam ko may na wala kang uh, OTP pero nagtatrabaho ka pa rin. So, uh, huwag kang mag-alala. Uh, pagka sumobra yung pera ko, bibigyan kitang OTP, overtime pay. So, maraming sa inyo, salamat sa inyong lahat. Uh, dito kami sa Cebu, ang sabi namin, daghang salamat sa tanan. Way sa payan, sir. Daghang salamat. Maraming salamat, sir. Sir Lawrence. Um, mamaya, sir, standby mo na. Ang daming... Mga tanong uh, sa Facebook, sa message, sa cellphone, marami. So we will put in uh, mamaya sa sagutin natin. Now let's hear some. Let's hear a short message from our um, honorable uh, member of the Board of Mechanical Engineering, PRC, Honorable Jericho T. Borja, PME. Good evening, sir. Good evening, uh, V. Good evening, uh, uh, everyone. Uh, happy birthday to. Uh, uh, to Cleo. Um, uh, later na ako siguro magtutuloy uh, magsalita uh, para <clears throat> para mag uh, mag-start na yung ating uh, Q&A portion. Uh, uh, doon na lang ako siguro magi-inject ng ibang uh, uh, ng ibang aking mga advice para sa sa mga uh, applicants for PME. Thank you. All right, thank you sir. Uh, again, let's let's hear also from um, our Chairman of the Board of Mechanical Engineering, PRC. Honorable Leandro A. Conti, PME. Go ahead, sir. I think... Okay ba audio ko? Medyo... Medyo... Malabo ba? Ayan, okay, okay na, sir. Okay na, kasi nagdadrive ako. Papunta ako kay Lawrence ngayon eh. Uh, sir, mamaya, mamaya na lang siguro, sir. Um, sa, mag-start na lang muna kami ng uh, forum and then para mag-drive ka muna. Safe, safety muna, sir. Okay. Sige, sige. Balik ako. Ah. Sige. Okay. Sige, thank sige, you, sir. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Sige. Bye-bye. So, okay. Thank you, everyone. And let's start na sa Q&A natin, sa forum natin ngayon. So, start tayo sa question and answer. Um, sino bang pwedeng mag, uh, mag-raise ng hand? Um, we'll give uh, first three questions sa mag-raise ng hand ngayon. Andito yung mga board natin. Andito yung, okay. Sir Pacifico or Taliza, sir, go ahead. Sir, nakamute po kayo, sir. Nakamute. Nakanda na yung mesado. Sir, nakamute po kayo, sir. Pacifico or Taliza. Engineer, Pacifico or Taliza. Nakamute po kayo, sir. Para kanda sa amin nung yung seminar. O di ba yung ano namin, yung dating ang terpano. Sir, go ahead. Uh, Ms. Engineer Pacifico or Taliza, nakamute po. Yeah, okay. okay na po. Go ahead, uh, sir. Go good ahead. afternoon okay, to everyone. Uh, good afternoon. First, I would like to congratulate Engineer Cornelio for a very clear presentation. No? Now, I am attending this uh, 
seminar because uh, every there are lots of mechanical engineers I, I meet I meet in the field, and every time I meet them, I always encourage them to take the professional examination. So it is very good for me, or I need these ideas so that every time I I encourage them to take the uh, the upgrading, at least I should know what, how I can guide them, take the, uh, the upgrading, you know. So uh, there, but there are uh, uh, some questions that has to be asked, which I should, uh, uh, I should know. No? First is, uh, with regards to the qualification of uh, faculty members teaching in higher engineering subjects, Let's say, for example, if that faculty member is teaching only machine design, and can he apply for a uh, an upgrading or for a PME uh, upgrading? Pedi bang magapply non nagwan. What are the requirements? Sir, come again, sir, your question, sir. Ano po yung question? Yung tungkol sa faculty member, nag, uh, nagtuturo ng, uh, ng higher mechanical engineering subjects. Yes. Ang tanong ko, kung halimbawa yung faculty member na yon is teaching only machine design for a, for a period of four years, will he be qualified to take the PME upgrading? Or what are the requirements? Yes, can we hear from our uh, distinguished BME, sir, to answer the question? Sir, we can hear you. Sir Jolly, can you oh, ask who can answer? Si sir. Ah, si sir, sir Lawrence, go ahead, sir. Kung nasa ang, ang pagkakarinig ko, kung nasa academy and teaching machine design, anong topic ang pupwede? Ganun ba yun, Kuya Piko? Machine design. Halimbawa, isang subjects lang. Machine design. And uh, he has been teaching that for the last four years. Okay. Will he be, be qualified to take PME? Yeah. Oh, okay. Kasi sa ating batas, uh, you must have a uh, a uh, experience, extensive experience for the last four years. So, kung apat na taon na siya nagtuturo, pwede na qualified na siya. Mas kay isang subject lang, uh, honorable Larion. Yes. yes, Kuya Pico, uh, ang uh, machine design is subjects in the board examination. Oh, okay, that's uh, thank you very much. Okay. Okay, so, thank you, sir. Uh, yeah. uh, if you allow me. Oh, sige, sir, last Tungkol question. Sa, sa certification of experience ng isang uh, candidate ano, who was working with at least, with let's say, three companies in his length of experience. Ngayon, nung nag-apply siya, yung, uh, how, how can he get the uh, uh, and the, his former media supervisor is no longer around. So how can he include the line of experiences he has in that company? Paano uh, niya Pico, isasama uh, sa kanyang... Yeah, uh, Kuya Pico, with respect to uh, certifications, he can always ask his uh, present uh, supervisor or present manager to vouch for his uh, experiences. Kasi naman, kung wala na yung dati naman, uh, lumipat siya sa ibang kumpanya, pag nung nag-apply naman siya, kinukwento niya naman kung na-experience siya dun sa supervisor niya. Kaya yung supervisor na can always vouch for his uh, uh, for his uh, experiences na nakalista. Walang problema doon, Kaya Pico. So, thank you. Uh, uh... Sabagay yan, pag nag-apply siya nag sa another company, uh, pag at least uh, he was asked of his experience. No? Ngayon, I, I do not know. Kung, kung minsan kasi, there are some people who are uh, 
who does not want to get to give certification, no? Kung halimbawa ay eh, sasabihin, hindi ka naman nagtrabaho sa akin noong araw eh. Hindi ko ma-certifyan yan. So how can we... Actually, actually that, is a, that is a wrong attitude of summers. Kasi naman, nung tinanggap mo yung tao, uh, kinuwento niya yung kanya experiences, so nalaman mo na experiences niya. So tinanggap mo siya sa trabaho sa ngayon, so he could always uh, assess the uh, experience of uh, his present uh, applicant or the present applicants of PME, pwede siyang pumirma ron. If uh, his former supervisor is not around, pwede yun. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir, uh, Ortaliza, sir, Engineer Ortaliza. So let's, um, next, let's, let's, um, let's, uh, let's read you mga comments kanina That's sa... That's all for me. Oh, no. Yes, sir, thank you. Thank you. Let's hear uh, yung mga comments kanina na... Sa, sa ating um, Zoom, isa-isahin muna natin. By the way, we'd like to encourage yung mga, yung mga nag-a-apply ng PME ngayon um, to, to ask questions. Kahit na kung hindi natin ma, ma just type in dito sa Zoom natin or sa Facebook and we will, uh, we will uh, collect all of, that, all of that and we will reply to your email. So, we'd like to request everyone to register sa ating PSI membership para ma, ma, ma send natin. Okay, first question, sir. Meron, meron po bang minimum number of pages ng technical report? I think nasagot na ni sir kanina ito. Yung uh, technical report. So, hindi na natin ulit. Big, big, clarify ko lang yung number of yes. uh, pages. Yes. Uh, dati yata, nire-require yung, yung number of pages less than 100. Uh, kaya lang, ang problema naging kulang yung kanilang report. Minsan, yung na, 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 nare-review ko, wala ng uh, economic analysis. Bakit? Pag tinatanong namin, kasi daw, uh, ang gusto daw nung dating uh, board is 100 uh, pages lang maximum. Eh, hindi na kasya. Kaya hanggang 100 lang daw ang gusto. So, hindi ko naman alam kung totoo yon but uh, for now, uh, kahit gawin yung 200 pages yan, babasahin namin yan. Ang importante, kumpleto. Ha? Kasi pag hindi kumpleto yan, pauulit din namin yan o padadagdagan namin. Or uh, pag nireview namin niya talagang kulang, uh, malaki yung kakulangan, uh, mahirap ka ng ma-schedule. Kasi binibigyan namin muna ng priority yung mga technical engineering report na kumpleto. Yun muna okay. para kasi makapag uh, uh, Dahil malaki yung for uh, PME ngayon, gusto muna namin yung, yung chance na pumasa. That's why ang gusto namin hanggat maaari ay yung kumpleto yung kanilang technical engineering report. Dahil pagkulang yan, either uh, i-reject namin yan, bagsak ka or pauulit namin sa iyo yan o padadagdagan. You will have to resubmit. Hindi, kayo papa, hindi namin pinapasa kapag kakulang. Definitely. Okay. Definitely yon. Tandaan nyo, pag kulang ang, uh, ang uh, rekado ng inyong TER, hindi namin kayo pa ipapasa. Maaaring pauulit namin. Yun, pagka talagang napaka-material nung kakulangan, maraming kulang, uh, pwede namin kayong ibabasa. So sa ngayon pa naman, meron lang kaming tatlong pinaulit. Uh, halos lahat. Meron kaming pinaulit from the start. Kasi nap napaka- Sabi ko, ko nga eh, parang ano eh, parang uh, parang assignment lang ng estudyante yung kanyang ginawa. So hindi hindi kung dati umuubra dito ngayon, hindi uubra po. Pero hangga't maaari, hindi kami nagbabagsak. Hangga't maaari, tinutulungan namin kung paano makakomply, makumpleto ang inyong technical engineering report. So yun, uh, pagka nakapasa ka, you will you will be proud of your report. You own it. Uh, I'm, I'm experience mo ay, uh, ay, mag, ay positive. Thank you, sir. So I think nasagot yung uh, from uh, Mr. Uh, Engineer Castor de Nueva Ecija, uh, PLGU. So next question, sir. Pwede uh, paghandaan habang umaaga pa yung technical from Miguel Belmonte? Ah. Uh, uh, pwede mong paghandaan pero hindi kasi hindi kami hindi garantiyan na yan yung aming yan, no? 
kasi sabi nga namin pagka pinakita mo pagka mo yung uh, <clears throat> yung uh, uh, ini gawin mong report sa amin at masyado kaming nasisimplihan and then uh, hahanap oh kami ng pwede mong i-report dun sa iyong uh, experience so syempre okay. marami namang uh, mga uh, applicant na ang pinopropose na madali so titignan naman namin yung experience mo kung maganda at uh, we will have to talk about it uh, hindi, hindi porkit <laughs> nag-propose ka ng dalawa at uh, yun na yung ma-approve. Uh, anyway, hindi naman masasayang yon kasi minsan uh, 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 kakailangan ng technical engineering report. So, experience na rin. Next question, sir. Ano, anong batch ng applicant ang tinawag for PME interview from Ruel Rosario? Okay. Uh, na medyo may nabas Ruel, ano? Uh, Ruel, uh, ang alam namin na, na 2022 eh uh, natapos namin. No? So, i-check mo kay, uh, kay Arlene kasi siya yung nagpo-forward sa mga pangalan, yung mga nakapag-submit at yung mga kumpleto uh, <clears throat> kung ano, kung uh, kung ano ang status. Baka nawala, hindi natin alam. So, bet better na uh, kontakin mo yung aming PRB sec. Uh, meron kaming ini-schedule for this month, uh, pero baka karamihan na is for all uh, exam or first interview. Uh, kung hindi pa kayo natatawag, kung meron kayong for second uh, oral exam na kayo, pinakamaganda ay mag- uh, aldo up kayo sa PRB sec namin. Ah, uh, aming pwedeng dahilan. Number one, baka doon submit ng bagong resume kasi pinapasubmit. So dapat uh, may submit yung yung uh, mga BME forms, no? Uh, for second interview ka na, pero yung ating TOS may grading system doon sa iyong resume. So gusto namin i-grade ka dun sa existing mong existing mong experience or existing mong qualification. Ah, uh, hindi naman namin kasi pwedeng i-submit yung grade ka lang namin ngayon. Sa dati maganda, madem grade ka for example, kung ginradean ka ng 77, i-carry over 'yon. However, ngayon kasi may TOS kailangan namin. Kaya kailangan i-update mo yung credentials para naman maging fair ka na i-gradean ka namin based on your current credential. So mag-follow up ako kay Arlene kasi sa ngayon wala wala na yata follow up <coughs> dahil nung ni-review ko yung mga uh, team, mga kumpleto halos pinatawag na namin sila lahat. So merong iba yung iba kung nag-submit na kayo Carnino for second interview na kayo. Please follow Carlin kasi baka meron kayong kulang na dokumento kaya hindi kayo nai-schedule. Thank you sir. I think nasa I think nasagot na yung question mo sir Roel. Uh, next question, pwede po kayang i-submit sa regional or sir yung application? Yes, From, pwede. Uh, yes. Okay. Pwede so, kasi meron na nga tayong uh, guidelines para sa online hmm. ano eh online na uh, application submission hindi niyo lang yun so just to clear ha sa mga nasa Visayas Mindanao last pwede natin i-submit sa regional office yeah And, hindi, hindi niyo kailangan yes next question sir ask ko lang kung saan makakahig BME PME Annex A for first in ayun oh, din Paano? kay uh, kay Arlene din Arlene Arlene yeah. okay so please communicate with her para minsanan ibibigay niya la Um, from Ronald Martinez, can we have the CAP guidelines, please? I think meron sinabi na kanina sa training. Gai anong guidelines? Yung resolution siguro yan. Uh, guidelines we, on the. We can. Uh, nasa kanya sir na yes. Na post natin sa Facebook yan. Paki check na lang sa Facebook at wala. Just email. Mag email po kayo sa secretary ng PSIM and will be it to you. No problem. Is there a standard pwede format silang, for? Pwede, pwede sa PRC website. Yeah, PRC then also. You can download the 
PRC na Facebook din, you can also get it there. And um, question, sir, is there a standard format for the technical engineer from Ruel, Brian, Kihano? Meron. Nasa RA85. Basta hindi yung RA8495. Meron tayong format doon. Okay. Uh, magbabasa tayo sa Facebook. Nagko-comment sa Facebook. Sandali, ha? Yung mga mm -hmm. hindi pa yeah. member ng Facebook. Uh, yeah. Lang, uh, bit, uh, gusto ko lang ipaalala sa kanila. Technical engineers, we have to know our law. Pakibasa po ng RA 8495, pati yung, pati yung, uh, yung, IRR. yung IRR. Nandun, makikita nyo yung format ng ating ano, yung, uh, TER. Sundan nyo po yun. Kailangan sundan. May, merong ano, may, may grading, may rating para dun sa ano, compliance to be format. So merong 10 na yun. So pag hindi nyo na-comply yung format na yun, o di makukuha yung 10 points. Sayang right. na rin yun, di ba? Kung yung format. Okay, basahin ko lang sa mga nag-comment. Um, I just want to greet Sir Boying Moreno ng birthday mga player. So, active ito si Sir. Uh, from Joe, list of design, if any, would mean not composed Ano ba itong tanong ni Sir Job? List of design, if any, would mean not compulsory? Ano ba ang list of Kompol kompol yung list of design, kasi dapat may design na ano ka, na experience ka. Then next is from Mer, from Leandro Balinda, may pipitong training. For now, wala kasi free training ito. For trainings, and dami nating training sa PSIM National. For the for the PME forum ano and the baka probably pati yung right shop, baka hindi ito bigyan ng uh, CP. Kasi, uh, ano to eh, pa trade para kung paano kayo, ano eh. Oh, hindi, hindi, hindi even to, ano eh, na, na, nabibigyan ng, ng CPD. Kapag nag a kayo dito, ang, uh, ang would be kung paano kayo nabit uh, ng application at ano yung mga uh, Masagot yung inyong mga tanong kung ano yung mga qualifications tungkol sa mga tier, etc. But not for CPD. Uh, 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 palagay ko, hindi rin, baka hindi rin ma-CPD Council yung uh, kahit i-apply ito ng uh, CPD uh, uh, credits. Uh, I don't know with the, with the Honorable Larion. Uh, uh, ano to eh, training, training ito para sa CPD. Yes, sir. Yeah. Actually, sir, sinabi na po doon ni Press Clay, um, ang, gina, ang purpose talaga natin, we are doing the free webinar the PME. is more on the mentoring. Kasi gusto natin mm -hmm. i-share sa mga mechanical engineers paano tayo mag-PME. So, walang free po ito. So, um, may, mga, may mga activities tayo sa technical, maraming activity yung technical committee to tayo ngayon sa PSIM, meron tayong, we are already It's like an accredited CPD provider for mechanic. So stand by lang. And dami natin mga events in the coming months, in the coming days. We will be announcing it soon. So next question from the Facebook, Engineer Alfred John Sikat. What about, sir, those in wala sa design field? Example, uh, sinasabi nila construction. So palagay ko kung nasa construction ka, Nag-design ka rin eh kasi pinagagawa ka ng shop. Ha? Naggagawa ka ng as-built mo. Nagawa sa'yo, nag-check ka rin eh. Ha? So uh, ako, ako ang, ang primary ko is uh, I, I have been a contractor. So uh, mm, pagka meron akong binibid, pagka uh, ginagawang project, ano, fire protection, air conditioning, System, ventilation system, hindi naman pwedeng sunod lang tayo ng ano. So, we check. Uh, it's part of the, ano, it's part of the design. Huh? Alright. So, uh, you take, uh, yung, yung, tingnan mo sa ibang, ano yung, uh, yung ginagawa mo. Sabi nga nila, pag nasa industrial plant, nasa may, and, uh, uh, and maintenance. 
sabi nila, o oh, paano sir? Sabi naman ko, eh, paano yung design experience? So, hindi nila alam, minsan na uh, marami silang uh, binago, nire-revise, ina-upgrade dun sa kanilang planta, the design. Diba? Pagka, tingnan yung mabuti. Uh, sa construction, definitely yan. Unless gawa ka ng gawa, nakapikit yung mata mo. So, <laughs> uh, ano yan? Marami tayong ano dyan sa construction. Tayong Marami. mga experience dyan. Oh, yes. In addition to that, uh, uh, <laughs> sa construction, yun lang scheduling. That is a design. Uh, kaya tayo sa atin sa mechanical, meron tayo sa CPM to be able to have the right scheduling. Of, that is a design. Sa preventive maintenance naman, have to design a preventive maintenance procedure. Oh, work instructions. Ano, walang, uh, walang ano, uh, if it's a nasa construction ka man o nasa, o nasa, ka. kahit sa akadim, I, I have a lot of design activities para sa akadim. Basta mag, mag-submit lang kayo ng uh, site your two uh, titles, manamin kayo pa paano gawin yung technical engineering report nyo. Alright, thank you. Mag-ano mag, mag, lang kayo, mag-submit lang kayo ng uh, yun. Kasi hindi kayo magiging PME pag hindi kayo nagsabihin. Puro tanong, puro, puro uh, eksibihin eh. Iba, wag. Sarili nyo na lang muna itindihin nyo. And after thank you. you should do your work. Sir Lawrence, thank you. And then, dito may nag-comment uh, sa Facebook natin from Leeds Manalang. Thank you for this presentation. It will help us a lot. RMEs natin. Sir, I have a question. Do you suggest or recommend action items for those who applied in and early 2019 and are, are to be called for their first interview. Sila. Uh, ano? Uh, I-follow up lang kay ano? Si Arlie. Kay, yes. oh, kasi yes. eh, uh, pagka walang, sabi ko nga, pag, siya kasi yung nagbibigay, kung hari, uh, mag, magbibigay na, ng schedule sa kanya. Sabi namin, o oh, Arlene, uh, uh, yung, yung board ng, uh, for example, ah, uh, Uh, third week ng June o oh, four days uh, mag uh, ano ka ilagay mo yung pangalan ng mga appending pa so siya yung ano siya yung siya yung naglalagay ng mga pangalan so nakikita na lang namin yan nakaschedule isa-isa yun okay. so yun lang gusto namin nakikita muna yung kanya lang yung yung, yung hey. kasi pagka yung resume nga hilaw na Binibigyan namin ng, uh, mas binibigyan namin, for example, uh, ng, uh, uh, ng schedule, uh, yung mga matatanda na or uh, mga malalaki na yung experience. Uh, kung uh, yung isa, four years pa lang, eh merong uh, yung experience, no? Uh, namin ng priority yung 20 years na. Assuming pareho silang ngayon, tinitignan din namin yung 4 years experience. Eh, baka naman, uh, baka naman, tinitignan namin, eh, hindi rin, hindi rin papasa kasi yung 4 years experience, pag tinignan mo dun sa rating system ng TOS, eh, kasi baka naman hindi ka pa, hindi ka pa, so, so be, better check it. Yung mga 8, yung mga 9 years experience, eh, umaabot mo, grade sa amin eh doon sa sa ano nila sa nila nasa ano pa yan eh nasa mga 70 75 so okay. ang magaganda uh, nasa ano na mga 15 na uh, years experience pataas depende kung ilang ilang trabaho yung napuntahan nila at uh, uh, yung iba-iba yung iba-ibang of mechanical engineering yung napuntahan so kailangan ipakita mo kasi sa ano mo eh, sa resume, hindi na pwedeng hulaan yan. For example, uh, kung ito four fields of uh, mechanical engineering na experience, uh, i-ano mo, kailangan ilagay mo ng mali. Ano yung four fields ng mechanical engineering? For example, oh, experience ka sa air conditioning, tapos may experience ka sa industrial plant, nag, nag, ano ka, nagtrabaho ka, operations and maintenance. So, meron kang uh, sa fire protection system. So, isa-isahin mo. Uh, kasi, eh, 
pagka hindi mo isinama yun, namin may degradean yan. So pagka dalawa Sama lang sa- yung di two fields lang, eh, di, di ba malinaw yung rating system natin? May point system. So, you have to present yourself properly. Kasi kami, isusunan namin yung grade, yung rating sa inyo. Pero ang rating mo, sa inyo manggagaling yan. Kasi uh, dapat sabihin mo. Kasi kung hindi mo isusulan, we will not know. Yun, kaya importante yun. Ay, ay, pagka nagkaroon kayo ng right shop, uh, may maputi yan. So kaya nga kami, gusto namin mag ng resume. So most probably, baka hindi pa kayo resume at saka yung uh, BME forms addition, kaya hindi kayo natatawag. Baka ng, ng, uh, ng sekretaryo namin kung kayo tatawagin. Yeah, baka yeah, wala baka... siyang contact Baka nawawala, yung contact, baka nawawala yung contact number nyo. Kaya Correct. Ma- oh. Saan nyo lang kay Arlene? Yes, oo. Yun. So kung Mag-email kayo sa kanya. Kung 2019 kayo, palawag nyo lang. Mm-hmm. Nandaan nyo, yung, yung, uh, yung secretary before, uh, nag, nag ano na yun eh, nag-retire na, nagkuha retirement. So, uh, kay Arlene, baka hindi na i-transfer lahat ng... Uh, ng uh, documents or ng mga commissions ninyo. In fact, hirap na hirap na kapag simula, ang dami niyang hinanap ng mga dokument. Kaya natagalan din kami dyan. Kasi kailangan namin, hanggang ganong huli, meron pa kaming nakitang 2017. Meron pa kami ngayong nakikitang 2017. Hindi namin, wala kaming contact uh, details. Hindi rin niya ma-schedule. So kung hindi pa kayo na 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, or 2020, uh, paki-update ng credential mo. Lalong-lalo na yung inyong contact information. Thank, Thank you, you sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, sir. Mamaya tatawag tayo dito sa Zoom yung mga uh, comment or may mga tanong. Uh, stand by. Isang, isang question. question ito from the Zoom. Uh, sir, uh, I applied for PME last 2019. To change my proposed topic, what are the needed required procedures not yet called for the first interview? Ah, uh, wala walang problema yan. Uh, unang-una, uh, problemahin muna natin dalawa kung uh, kung paano ka tawag your first interview, no? Uh, baka alam kung paano ka uh, kontakin. So yung aming uh, PRB sec at uh, at uh, mo yung yung resume uh, tungkol naman uh, doon sa proposed ano mo uh, uh, TR mo uh, doon sa ano mo during pwede mong i ano pwede mong i-propose yan pwede mong propose yan so meron kang yung naka, nakasulat na and uh, we'll see baka baka piliin pa rin namin yung or baka yung uh, third proposal mo. We will talk about it. Thank you. Thank you. And um, um, let's from the, from the Zoom, sino yung pwedeng mag-raise ang hand para direct sa ating mga BME? So, swerte tayo, guys. Oh. Hey, meron, na na, meron akong nakita dito sige, sir, itong sir. Kesaitan Greenfield District. Sige, ano? sige. Sige. If sir 14 years experience in and commissioning in oil and gas, zero years daw was possible bang mag-apply ng PME? Ah, uh, kasi meron kaming mga ma, merong mga kami no first and second ano may mga nakapasa na kami ng from oil and ah uh, it, it, it's about how going to present yourself kasi tignan mo mabuti. TNC ka, hindi ba ikaw ang nag-design ng uh, testing and commissioning? No? Although, of course, uh, pag-designing ka, ka namin later mga, mga ginawa mo. So you'll have to, ano, you'll have to know. Pero mga, mga, mga malampaya boys lang yata, dalawa yung, uh, ano, no, yung uh, na-interview namin, ha? second interview, and they, they 
after after uh, we requested them to give additional uh, information kasi minsan katulad nung isa napakaparte lang nung uh, system yung kanyang ginawa ang ginawa namin pinadesign namin yung buong system sa kanya so for example yung uh, i think it's the vacuum system or store so meron lang siyang portion na ginawa hindi kami pumayag uh, namin siya he has to design yung buong process lang yung isang yung isang piyesa kasi isang piyesa lang yung dinisay niya eh pero dun sa piyesang yun na sinasabi niyang uh, 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 mali yung unang pagkakalagay at uh, naitama niya no uh, we ask him to design all the other yung buong systems siya nag uh, piping calculation siya so pinagawa namin yun so tignan mo uh, be creative hindi namin kasi pwedeng ituro sa iyo yung yung hindi namin naman alam sa practice mo but take a look at uh, your practice in a detail diba minsan akala mo yung araw-araw lang ginagawa mo yun yun eh pero tignan mo baka naman merong merong set yung practice mo na nagdi-design. Thank you. Thank you sir Jolly. And I hope nasagot ng tanina na nakita natin sa sa Zoom. Just like to colleague from PSIM Makati. Uh engineer ng Daguno. Go ahead, sir. Itanong lang po ako kay Sir Jolly. <laughs> Jolly, what if you been the previous employer and then tiba kailangan ng mga sir the employer what if like me matagal na uh, dating kumpanya wala na rin yung bigla sa Samsung galing kang uh, galing kang uh, like galing 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 galing. tapos ga, galing ka pa ng ano ng niche yes sir oh, alam naman namin yung mga ganyan eh pinagtatan <laughs> pinagtatanong namin yan nagsisi ay din kami <laughs> ne uh, be creative na lang no ni siguro ah uh, Okay, Kung pagdating doon, may mga kakilala ka namang baka may supervisor doon o manager, eh, or uh, yung job description mo before, isubmit mo. Nagawa mo before. At, madali lang naman siguro magpapit na yung, yung, yung mga bago na ngayon na merong alam alam mo no? sa, sa Mitsubishi. Hindi ka, hindi ka mahihirapang magpapirma dyan. Sa Daikin, Uh, baka baka nga ano baka wala nang may kilala sa iyo diyan <laughs> dahil yan yung unang isa sa unang mga trap- but uh, sabi ko nga kanina be creative be creative on how you're going to submit thank you any more any more yung mga thank you, thank you. sino mag uh, open naman yung ko natin para makausap natin personally yung mga BME Hi. si Sir Noli sino pa yung pwedeng magbat in wala tayong wala kong up ng kamay City ko. Uh, parang natatakot. Uh, Randy. Randy V. Francisco. Sir, go ahead. Sir Randy. Good evening, sir. Go ahead, sir. Good evening. Sir, uh, inquiry ko lang. Okay. Uh, sir, excuse me, uh, sir. Yung video, video kayo? Yes, sir. Uh, okay, para makilala rin yung mga pamukha kasi mag-meet din kayo ni sir doon sa PRC. <laughs> Alright. Dalalaki pala, sir. Go ahead. Good evening, uh, on the other hand, uh, Sir Loren and Chuck eh, Conti. Sir, uh, inquiry ko lang regarding HB document and uh, uh, late ay paano ba pagkuhan yan? I-walk in namin pagpasa or through email lang? Kay pwede mam- pwede namang pwede na kung layo ka pwede namang i-email muna eh. Siguro tawag uh, ka tsaka mo i-submit. Okay. O, para nga uh, taga saan ka ba? Dito, sir, sa part ng Visayas? O, oh, sa regional o yeah, pwede mong isubmit yun. Ah, no. O, oh, oh, kasi kailangan mo isubmit yun tapos i-scan mo rin dahil kailangan din yung uh, files para ibigay din sa amin. So, ano, uh, uh, anong na lang, sundan mo na lang yung ano, yung, uh, yung, yung guidelines kung paano. But you don't have to go to Manila. No, 
Thank Alright. you so much, sir. Dagang salamat, sir Randy. Um, next question, sir, sa Facebook. Mabasa lang ako. Ah, stand by lang, sir. Pico. Okay, uh, thank you. For, from, from Paul Lagrosas from Facebook. It's mentioned that one of the criteria to assess expert knowledge in numerous fields. How many fields and what are they? Parang dami nun ah. Uh, 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 tinatanong maraming fields ng si mechanical Nard, engineering. <laughs> Oo. Maraming fields ng mechanical engineering. Uh, sa sa specialization and specialization yes. na siguro nakaka uh, as of now, meron kaming uh, seven na uh, ginagawa na. Merong eight kaming uh, uh, ini-start yung uh, yung uh, technical safety we are doing it uh, 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 in collaboration with the OSH uh, uh, center and uh, with ED uh, executive uh, Noel Binag no kasama namin nagmi-meeting uh, nandiyan kasama namin diyan si uh, 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 master plumber Chairman, si Ray Ilagan, tsaka si Lallari Cyril. Kung merong magbo-volunteer para sumama dun sa group na yun, uh, sila yung maghirap para buuin uh, specialization ng technical safety. No? Siguro uh, mag-message ano, mag, uh, mag na lang kay Joel or, or kay Vic no? kung uh, willing sila mag, ano, willing silang magtrabaho. Um, tungkol doon. So marami. Uh, I think sir to just to once na mention mo na kanina sir yung natin yung Republic Act at mm-hmm. pasahin din natin yung IRR and kung may mga tanong po sir Pao just um ayo uh, update lang mag-join ka ng PSIM na mga events chapter natin. You can natitingin kayo sa Facebook. Marami tayong events doon. Makikita yung ibang field na sinasabi mo na tanong. Ang dami sir, ang dami. We are already um, parang nagsobra na tayo sa time. We'll adjust the president. If it's uh, okay lang ma, mag-extend tayo na kahit na 15 minutes. Medyo ang daming tanong dito sa akin, ma'am. Sa cellphone ko, sa Facebook, <laughs> sa Zoom. Ano ma'am, okay lang ba? Mag-extend tayo na kahit na 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah, we have to answer all questions. Okay. We have to so, the yeah, just, just Yes. Sige, um, I think Sige, mabilis naman magsagot sila, sir. And may kumdan. Good afternoon, my PSIM Davao City. Sir, meron sir. Um, uh, please contact sa Secretariat. Uh, meron tayo. Katapos lang natin nag-index ng mga office charter. Ang dami. Um, medyo enjoy. Malaki yung group, group natin. And uh, hopefully yung Tagum group will be also in the coming uh, days. And uh, hope you can join also. And ulitin ko yung membership. Guys, we'd like to request everyone yung mga nag-PME, hindi pa walang interested na mag-PME or yung mga PME na dati, please uh, register sa atin sa PSI and para updated. Just put your chapter kung taga saan kayo, Davao, lagay nyo lang yung nyo. Kasi right now, we are consolidating yung mga members na, na mag-grow natin yung organization. Kasi hindi naman ever yung national officers natin at BME natin. So we need actually the young ones na gustong mag-join at gustong mag and to learn more. Lalo na ngayon, maganda yung interaction. We are very fortunate. Sipin mo, tatlo sila. Nandito yung president natin at nandito yung mga dating PME. So, we'd like everyone to please join. Nasa Zoom natin at sa Facebook, please click yung link. Madali lang. Just put everything there. Yung data privacy for you and para safety naman. So, may nagtatanong dito, sir, hoping for sample proposal mag-join tayo ng PME workshop with uh, Sir Nards in the few, meron tayong mga and may mga events din yung chapters natin na tayo thank you very much Sir Nards and then ano pa yung mga comment and how about po sir yung teaching algebra geometry and geometry for four years to a non-engineering school qualified din po ba kami <laughs> hindi ko sigurado yan baka hindi siguro uh, kasi dapat engineering. mechanical engineering yeah. subjects yes. uh, but anyway si pagdating kasi sa academe uh, ang ano dyan si, si, si Honorable Lawrence o, na, si Honorable Lawrence saka si Chairman Boy 
Sir Jerry, Sir Jolly, yung sinasabi um, kung kanina ni Sir Lawrence, submit lang kayo. Oh, so, oh, actually, si Sir... mahirap kasi mahirap din kasi yung tanong ng tanong, no? Kasi pag nandyan na yung <laughs> papel, sabihin, eh, tinanong na namin to, tapos uh, sabi tapos ngayon, reject. So, iba pa rin kasi yung yung documents yun na dyan at uh, yung buong document ay uh, yun ang mismong i-ano uh, namin, no? i uh, based uh, doon sa ating uh, table of questions. Uh, so yun yun talaga yung ating ano yun yun ang guide namin kung paano ka anong yayari sa inyo if we are going to accept or uh, deny your Okay, thank you sir and um may mga yung mga iba dito na yung mga sa Facebook natin na nagko-question uh, sa Zoom kung may mga PME tayo mga mga pwede magsagot at is makatulong din yung mga base experience nila para mapabilis yung mga exchange of ideas and mamaya babat si si BME. So may question yeah. dito sir, good evening. As ko lang okay lang ba mag-apply for PME? Company pa lang ang pinagtatrabahuan ko. I'm working currently in what in our municipality. I think sa time yun eh, I think four years, di ba sir? Oh, mo four years. Uh, tingnan mo yung yung tape application kung magko-qualify ka. Mm-hmm. Yun, yun lang last... yun. Ah, maganda ngayon, meron kayong pwedeng ano eh. Okay, I just want to hear from Sir Pico. Sir, go ahead, sir. Mabilisan lang. Okay, sir. Okay. Yes, uh, tungkol po sa, uh, sa first interview, ang uh, candidate is required to submit two titles. Ngayon, yung bang uh, it's just titles or is there any let's say Intense yung yung uh, proposed report mo. Meron nang meron nang outline na kailangan. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, go Thank ahead, you um, Engineer J Ingal Ingal, sir. Go ahead. <coughs> Thank you very much, sir. Um, address mga BME honorable. So uh, Abu Dhabi ka. So nagaplay kami ng first interview that said in 2018. And then, nagkaroon resumption para dun sa bagong PM trading. So, natapos ko na rin yun. Naka-align na yung res- TOS. It was submitted 2019. Ma'am Arlene. Then after that, I keep on following. Wala pa ako nare-receive na, ano, na schedule for second interview. So, ano kayang ma-advise ng ating mga honorable BMEs? May status naming OFW. Sige, check namin kasi meron kaming mga OFW na, mga kasama na, na interview namin. Nag-signify sila na kung kailan sila uh, babalik dito, uuwi sa Philippines. So, mas maganda kung mabibigay mo na kung vacation, uh, i-inform mo si Arlene kasi uh, ina-accommodate namin, nag-i-schedule ka no, ng mga, mga exam kapag ka uh, uh, merong merong mga uung uh, mga kasamahan natin diyan sa no no sa abroad mm-hmm. na naisasama na sa na uh, speak para doon naman sa sa uh, ano mo uh, uh, mo I, I will check I will check with the uh, Arlene eh uh, uh, siguraduhin mo kumpleto yung ano mo kasi talagang pagka hindi kompleto, for example, kung wala uh, in, uh, in, uh, eh, engineering economics, uh, normally kami hindi, hindi uh, ako hindi ko na i-schedule pagka ganun eh. Re-review ko muna lahat eh. So pagka yung mga wala, sabi ko nga, muna kompleto, yun yung uh, yun yung kinuuna na. So kung kompleto naman yan sa'yo, I will check with Arlene bakit hindi ibibigay sa amin yung pangalan mo. Sure. Right. Salamat po. Sure, kompleto Ingen. naman yun sa akin. Oo, sige. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, BME. Thank you, Sir Jay. And um, next question. Um, guys, yung mga tanong and wag kayong magalala. Ang dami natin yan at sinesave natin and we'll be getting back to you mas sagot within, uh, matapos natin ngayon. And uh, uh, just, big, to, just to... Uh, big, uh, can you also take note yung mga 
may ganyang concern para yung mga pangalan nila no I'll I'll have uh, it check with the uh, our secretary Yes Uh, kung may mga concerns, just send lang. Mas maganda si Gumed natin. Uh, please write na lang sa chat para ma- maisa-isa natin tayo, tawagan kayo. Uh, I think nagka-write tayo sa Zoom at sa Facebook. So, kaya nga, importante talaga uh, para matawagan namin. May nagtatanong kasi, sir, mag-join kami ng uh, Palawan, join kami ng Cebu. Uh, most, oh, most cities and mga countries sa uh, Middle East, meron mga tinatayong mga Uh, IM chapters and we will really help you we will forward your name kaya mag-register talaga guys we are asking you to register para mat- kayo and ano yung how we can move forward so next questions and DME mm-hmm. Nag- uh, from Danao CPU Danao nag-file ako ng PME application last 20, 2021 nag-submit ako ng hard copies sa PME Galeria Cebu naglabas ng resolution noong January 20. Nagsubmit ako ng soft copies sa PR ko, PMA applications at prc.gov.ph. Wala pang reply sir kung na-receive ba nila or ano na ang next step. Ano na nangyari sa application ko sir? Sige, i-check natin. So, First, or First or second. First or second. Hindi niya sinabi din. Um, Sige, file ako ng application. First oh. siguro to sir. Sige. So, note- Pakikulate mo lang lahat, no? Ikulate yes. mo lang, pakikulate lahat. And may mga tanong, Sir Nards. Good afternoon. Oh, first, do first we... daw, sabi. First, sige, yes. sige. We'll check. Do we need... we'll check on it. Yes. Do we need to own laptop and have our internet connection or this will be <laughs> regional office? Uh, hindi pa kami nagtatry sa region, no? Uh, mm-hmm. Pero yun kasing kahit yung mga taga taga Visayas, taga no? Uh, pag tinatanong kasi, kung ari, uh, ibinigay sa amin yung schedule, tinatanong kasi ng sekretary na bumiling silang uh, bumiyahe dito sa mm-hmm. eh, lahat ng si, Lahat ng tinanungan niya, eh. Okay. O, oh, bumiyahe. So talagang, uh, talagang uh, dito namin ginawa muna sa PICC, you have to bring your own laptop. You really have to bring your own Pwedeng manghiram ka na muna dyan sa mga kaibigan mo dyan, kamag-anak. Uh, kailangan dalin mo yung laptop mo para naka na. Para safe. Mm-hmm. So next question will be the resume of the interview. I think ongoing uh, yun. Ongoing. Meron din kaming katatapos nitong April, ngayong June. Merong ini-schedule ngayong June. So ito ka pa sa amin. Wala pa sa amin mga pangalan. But time ito, I- pinapa-schedule namin na yung dyan. May tanong sa OFW, if the work experience is mostly outside the Philippines as an AOI, but work are related in mechanical engineering practice on recognize ba ang application of PME? Recognize? Uh, yeah, yeah, Mag-submit sure. Mag-submit lang. Yes. Oh, basta practice of mechanical engineering as practice, defined yes. here in the Philippines, yes. it's practice of mechanical engineering. Question dito, NSO or PSA? PSA. And PSA good afternoon. Yeah. Yes. Can can we ask for a copy with the requirements sa PME? I think meron na tayo yung sa yung sa we will send it to you or ipo-post natin sa Facebook natin yan. Register lang. Isulat mo na lang. Okay, din sa nila. Okay. Ready submitted docs at PRC Morita last. I think nabasa na. May I the timeline for the first interview and do I need do I submit soft copy of my docs for to the BME's email? Nag-submit daw siya ng mga writer, sir, last March 2022. Ah, bago? Ah, bago lang. Oo. So, medyo bago ka pa Antay, naman. Antay-antay lang. Hindi <laughs> din namin ng ano, yung mga previous. Yung mga 2000 to oh, 2021. Oo, oh, basta merong so, binigay sa amin na, 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 na 2017, 2018, 2019. Yun, yun, yun ang ano, talagang inuuna namin yung mga previous. Yun, ng uh, available sila namin. Ah uh, in fact, meron merong nag-aano eh, meron nang pag- sila hindi sila available eh. So, syempre wala tayong magagawa. Basta tatanungin kayo, importante ang uh, secretary namin yung contact details niyo. Kaya nga importante na email kayo sa kanya. Kasi walang nire-report sa amin na uh, nagfa-follow up. Um, may nagtanong dito. Thank you pala yung mga marami nag-thank you kay Sir Nards. Um, 
nandito ka pa ang daming nag-comment ng thank you sa iyo sa pagpasalamat mo kanina sa mga from pa tong iba oh Juanito uh, Ingal ito si Juanito Ingal oo uh, 2018 daw oh uh, check ko parang hindi ko nakita yung pangalan mo dito sa mga TR kasi ng mga technical engineering report uh, pinapadala na sa amin Berlin wala na yatang naiwan doon a uh, uh, pwera doon no uh, ang sir ang swerte namin sir ang swerte dito kayo so malalaman natin kung nandiyan ba wala Oh, thank you talaga sa pag- uh, Paki-follow up lang uli. Ah, uh, I'll be frank ano, meron talagang mga na talagang hindi complying. Kag ganun talaga, unang-una sobrang nipis, mga mga calculation. Minsan 15 pages ng technical engineering report, hindi na namin sini-schedule 'yun kasi lang. Hmm. So paki-check mabuti ng mga TR ni Okay. From Abro, sir. Uh, mabilisan na. It's already 7 p.m., 7.04. Check guys. And uh, hanggang 7 lang yung usapan. So we are extending para dito masagot mm -hmm. yung mga tanong. Question. Uh, what if most ng experience ng candidate is sa mga installation, construction, that it is okay kahit walang design super PME as part of the requirement? I think may PM, kinakailangan ng PME ko, sir. Di ba, right? yung yung yun kasi nga ah uh, ah uh, no uh, kung nung nag-start king uh, company naging mechanical contractor ako eh well hindi ako ng PME so uh, ako as mechanical engineer ako yung company ako yung head ng technical ah uh, kung pero marami akong kay na <clears throat> alam yung practice ko so sila yung nag ng aking ano ng aking uh, capability So sila yung nag uh, nag uh, certify na I know what I'm doing. Na qualified ako. Practice ako as mechanical engineer, as mechanical in the fields of yon. Sabi ko I think you'll have to be ano eh you'll have to be uh uh uh, uh, uh sa sa gagawin mong uh, uh, application mo tingnan mo pa paano eh kung wala ka talagang boss pero nagpang mechanical engineering eh so kung nasagot ba si certify ng ng practice so engineer Abraham Ramos sir nasagot ba sir nakamunyot nakamute ka mabilisan lang quick mm -hmm. ay sir uh, okay naman sir nasagot naman po kaya lang uh, another question sir mabilis lang din Sir, yung company namin, na apply ko na rin ng IS para sa PS mark ng mga fire extinguisher namin. Uh, yung ginamit ko bang quality manual as well as yung procedure ng manufacturing considered siya as engineering design? Uh, pwede, pero isa lang ba yan? Kasi eh, Actually, sir, meron, tayong, meron tayong number of designs. Kasi kung one lang, uh, pag tinignan mo dun sa grade mo dun, medyo sasabit ka pagka di ba, ano siya, sir? Combination kasi kami, sir, ng contractor as is the same uh, manufacturer din na fire extinguisher. Yung pagdating kasi sa, sa fire extinguisher, say ko, uh, dalawa, isang fire, isang dry chem, tsaka F. Magkaiba mm -hmm. ng procedure yung Pero nag-i-install nag kayo? Uh, oh. Ang in-install namin, gas line, gas detection, tsaka kitchen fire suppression, tsaka oh, yeah. LPG tank ref qualification. Mm -hmm. Practice namin, sir. Oh, yeah, di, May apply naman siya, sir, no? mo lang. Tapos sa uh, pag-uusapan natin kung anong pagagawa namin sa'yo. Eh, pagkaganyan, yung buong system sa kitchen, pag eh, normally ganyan eh. Sir, di ba sabi mo sa secret yun? Ano mo sasabihin sa pikante? Secret kasi para oh. unfair naman. Eh, pagdating doon, kasi siyempre pag pinagyabang mo na, gusto mo yung pinagyabang mo. Diba? Ah, sige sir, sige sir. Oh. <laughs> so, just to call on um, Engineer Kat. Uh, please turn view para makilala namin parang babae ito na mechanical engineer good Hello. evening good evening yes engineer Kat uh, gusto ko lang tanong yun na kasi hindi ako pains sa practice and then naghanap ako ng certificate of experience and nakalagay doon na mukhang kay PME yung mag-certify and nakalagay rin na there must be a registered and currently licensed professional So, yung question ko lang ay, so, hindi yung 
supervisor ko hindi siya Filipino, therefore hindi siya PME. So, tanong yan kung paano yung pwedeng gawin about okay. it. Pa- papirmahin mo rin yung uh, superior mo. Trainer. And then, Mm-mm. siguro naman, meron ka, saan ka na? Saan kang bansa? Sa Japan. Sa Japan. Hanap ka ng kaibigan mo, kahit na nandito sa PME, na, PNE, na pwede niyang pirmahan din yung, uh, yung dokumento. <laughs> Pero papirmahan okay. mo dun sa superior mo. Okay. okay. So, nakalagay, dun nakita additional lang. Nakita ka rin kasi doon sa sa format na may nahihingi and parang, I guess, parang certification nila. Wala po nun. As in, kahit sign lang. Okay lang. And, pa, para doon sa mga foreigner. Pero yun nga, uh, naman, tulad na may paliwanan ko uh, kanina na I was practicing as a uh, contractor nung hindi pa ako i- oh, ang God. nung application ko, ang nag-certified practice ko are my, ano, are my, uh, my PME. Okay. Nakalam yung practice ko mm-hmm. as a uh, mechanical actor. Oh, so, maghanap ka ng kaibigan mo o na pwedeng mag-vouch doon sa uh, doon sa practice mo as a mechanical engineer. Okay. Na PME. Thank you po. Yeah. Thank you, uh, engineer and sir. Marami pagtara may next tanong. Um, how about experience in in relation to RA 11 is this qualified experience can i present energy board as TER thank you oh. so as a ano no as a as a as an experience pwede mong isama pero sabi ko nga di ba hindi pwedeng isa lang naman kasi ang experience mo eh mm-hmm. so people so if you will read the TOS yun yung sasagot So yun yung ipepresent mo sa amin, di ba? O may kanina irerelate ko na rin uh, anong size ng fire protection at saka yung HVAC system yung kailangan. Wala namang size pero you will be graded doon din sa difficulty ng experience mo, di ba? Yung complexity at saka yung size ng project. So sobrang simple, for example, eh nag-design ka nga puro split type naman, di ba? Medyo delikado. So, kailangan lag- uh, eh, introducean mo ng uh, fresh air system, ng energy recovery uh, ventilators. So, kahit na yun yung ginawa dun sa project, kailangan dagdag. Alright. Kasi, ang dali-daling ano eh, ang dali-dali namang mag-design ng system kung simple. Energy. Yes. Si- split type lang yung gagamitin natin. But, uh, tandaan mo, meron tayong fresh air requirements. So, kahit doon sa building, in your design, dapat lagyan mo. Alright. Thank you, sir. And then, my question again from Leeds. Leeds. A clarification letter. What documents should we submit? Annex A and CV? Should we email this to Arlene? Thank you. Oh, pwede. Pwede. Basta pirmahan okay. nyo lang meron doon kailangan ang pidabit eh. I'm not just sure yun mga yun. Basta na magkakasamang documents yun. Cesar Rivera Ternida, looking for buo ang Qatar chapter. Lol. Malapit na. Malapit na. So just uh, yung mga nasa Qatar ngayon, fill out the membership form and malapit na yung yeah. chapter. So, yeah, Vic, meron pa ba? Mga yes, two questions para- na kasama ko, iniwan na yata ako. Marami, dito. iniwan ka, parang na, nandun na. <laughs> um, last two question na siguro, um, salitain na lang natin. Yung iba siguro dito nasa last Facebook. Two, last two, last uh, two. Maghanap tayo ng mga magandang kwanong. Dito sa, um, sinong pwedeng magsalita sa kwan? Sa, huwag mo na yung, yung sa Zoom natin na mga chat at sa Facebook, we'll it and we will just send it to you guys, mga tanong na yan. You man will send you the the the, the answers. Sinong mag no, Sir Randy sa salita ka ba? Well, Sino yan? Before 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 si ano no si ah uh, itong si Nick Johnson Fernandez muna no. Tanya. Kasi sabihin, mahirap kasi sabihin na qualified na or hindi qualified. No, the best thing for you is submit your application. Ba? Diba? Hindi naman namin hindi naman naka-record sa PRC kung bumagsak 